What's up, everybody? Welcome to Multitap Impossible, where we're going to play. <laughs> I. Good to see all y'all tonight. Let's get Mission Impossible at 64 started. Not a scary game in the least. What do y'all think? Should I play on possible mode or impossible mode? Possible. I guess impossible. I guess I'd want to play the mode oh. where I could actually beat the game. Possible will do. Hey, what's up, Choco? Good to see you. And good to see everyone else, the early birds. Welcome to Multitap. Mission Possible, oh boy. They changed the title. <laughs> you know. What happens? <laughs> How's everybody doing on this fine Multitap Monday? Good morning, oh, Mr. Oh. International weapons. We got our mission. <laughs> has set up operations at an abandoned World War II <laughs> submarine base in Lundquist. Our silent. shows he is planning to upset peace in the Gulf by selling 12 medium-range <laughs> missiles to an enemy country. You know, they were going to have it because you know how they have the... Do they call it the face maker? Is that right. what it's actually called? I thought so. Do they have the game in this game where you can steal people's faces? They were going to have it so that you could steal everyone's face. And I think also that you could have custom faces. So, could have had Sandler, but they gave up. Is the cutscene audio good? I always remember it being kind of quiet, so I don't know if there's much we can do <clears throat> about that, but yeah. Welcome to the ice hit. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Mute Sandler. Oh, yeah. He's shy tonight. It's funny because when it came out, Kamish. Oh, Squishy. Thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Thanks. When it came out, the reviewers sure like to compare it to Goldeneye, which I don't really... It's not fair. It's funny because I remember Nintendo Power really played up how cool this game was going to be. And it was in development for the longest time. And I guess at some point, Ocean realized they couldn't uh, make everything they wanted to happen in the game happen. Hey, what's up, Dragmire? Good to see you. We're just playing, you know, one of the best N64 games of all time. So, like, I mean, you could definitely tell they were a little constrained and felt like they had to put something out, but I I always felt like this game was fun, at least. It's got some really goofy stuff in it, but it, it'll it keep you entertained. It'll keep you entertained. And you can steal people's faces. I mean, what more could you want? Good morning. Good to see you. But this is the only 3D Mission Impossible game that I played. I know there's something, or there's a couple on PS2. I don't know if there's any, like, next-gen Mission Impossible games, but... Ooh, would this be on the N64 Classic? Well, the license makes it pretty difficult. What's funny is this game doesn't even have the Mission Impossible catchphrase in it. It says, your mission if you decide to accept it, instead of choose to accept it. I wonder, was that like a copyright thing? Or did they just screw it up? I, I, I don't know what that's about. Oh, he's gonna pull up the power panels. How about with your fists? got you know top shelf graphics <laughs> what the uh oh i mean you yeah <laughs> I, w I would think so commish because it doesn't really seem like they have any issue using the name or the theme so you would think they could use that phrase is this post cruise so this is based on the first tom cruise mission impossible movie what's really funny is in another goldeneye 64 comparison while Pierce Brosnan was all too thrilled to have his face on GoldenEye 007, Tom Cruise refused to have his face in this game. Yes. Now, that's probably more a Tom Cruise problem than any uh, slight at the game, but it's just, it's pretty funny. Oh, he's not even gonna talk to me. Did I? I must have failed a long time ago. Well, it doesn't say I failed, but I can't talk. Oh, you know what? Can you still take this from me, dude? Hurry up, Ethan, <laughs> or Clutter will freeze. <laughs> I already fail. 
Because, like, I think Ethan Hunt... Oh, Mission Possible. <laughs> I think Ethan Hunt was introduced in the first uh, Mission Impossible movie. Roger. I don't think I don't think he was a TV character, and they've been milking that franchise ever since. I was surprised to see that they're making a new one and it's coming out soon. I thought they were done. Apparently not. Yeah, I was shocked to see that at the theater. <laughs> what? They're still making Mission Impossible? I'm not sure if anyone actually cares. <laughs> Hollywood cares. So yeah, there's a chance, Kamish, since he's not here. It's one way of looking at it. I would not doubt it. What's the latest one called? Fallout 8? Eight Mission Impossible movies? I watched the first one and I thought it was kind of goofy, but it was a decent enough movie. That was as far as I got. And then I gave up. You've seen three of them. Nice. I need to watch uh, the original again, and then maybe I'll be brave enough to watch the rest. Hey, thank you, Space Son. Thanks, Space Son. Good to see ya. This is uh, this is at least loosely based on the first movie. I don't remember how accurate or inaccurate it is. And I'm sure it's got its own little fun adventures, but we'll see. Oh, you only saw Mission Impossible 3. Gotcha. You saw The Mummy with Tom Cruise. Does that count? So he's in that remake of The Mummy? I'm sure that was a Mission Impossible movie. Probably it all ties together. Tom Cruise universe, you know. It's all one thing. So Daniel can't be detected on this truck. He's safe. I don't think I saw Mission Impossible in theaters. So that was more like a blockbuster night or something. Hey, what's up, Jazz? Good to see ya. Hey, yes. Whoa. What movie is that? Is Wilford Brimley expert Alan here to... Uh... All right, so Jazz, I'm glad... You noticed that because I thought I would turn it on for you. However, they are auto-generated and it's based on Windows speech-to-text engine. So I bet you they're not very good. Copy. However, I figured I would turn it on so you have something. I didn't know you could do that in OBS. So yes, there's something there. Oh, the firm. Okay. You can try them. Let me know how enunciate. Uh, hello. Are the captions good tonight? I hope they are good and read well. They probably do not. I it's weird because I couldn't find any other engines to replace the Windows one. I bet they're because like I know there's a bunch of different uh, text to speech or speech to text processors you can use, but I don't know how you plug in different ones into OBS, but hopefully we can play with that someday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I tried, Jazz. I tried. I'll look into it. I thought it was worth a try. The YouTube, uh, ones that they put on our archive videos, those actually work pretty well. So I wonder if there's any way you can leverage uh, YouTube's API to do that with live audio or if it needs to be processed. Like, I guess that's why they're probably better. They get a couple of passes. Yeah, this is based off the movie as far as I know. Yeah, very, very much so. Like, I can't remember what all they've changed about it, but uh, some of these parts seem familiar. I guess Phelps was in the TV show though, right? Yes. So, there's connections. Mission accomplished. Ooh, accomplished. Go to the embassy. My <laughs> first airplane. 
Missing mission possible. Oh, can I have a ginger ale, please? This is gonna be Dragmire. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. I hope they have this on your flight to Tafcon. Line X officer Alexander Golitsyn, now working at black market intelligence under official cover, has abducted one of our top computer experts, IMF agent Candace Parker, and has stolen one half of the CIA NOC list she was carrying naming all of our non-official cover agents in Eastern Europe. This list Ooh, is divided into that? two encoded halves. The half Golitsyn has is useless <laughs> without the other half. Let's hack. Is stored Coffee at maker. CIA headquarters in Langley. Candace Nuts. is now imprisoned in the Russian Shucks. embassy in Prague, <laughs> where they are the trying to maker? code yeah, the, the pen. probably believing she has the key to the code. We also know they have a power... Oh, I'm sorry, Joko. ...and are probably using it to try to break the code. Special Agent Robert Barnes might make it a little hard to focus on the movie. To free Candace and make it look like Golitsyn's fault. Where do you go this to redeem so Jiggies? Oh, However, here you go. Heard nothing from Barnes since, and we suspect that'll do it. Caught. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to penetrate during tomorrow night's embassy function. Find Candace, copy the list, destroy the computer, and escape with Candace and Barnes. It does have voices. Alive. As always, Can you hear him okay? You or any of your IM force be caught oh, what's up, Psychotic Spoon? Will Good to see you. Your this message will self-destruct in five seconds. I think the lady next to him can hear it. Don't worry, Tom Cruise is not in the game. All right, Jazz just redeemed a multi-tap Mugen whiteboard sketch. Ooh. Uh, okay. I could, I can do this, I think. I could do this. Get bored. Maybe? I forget what his character looked like. I mean... So yeah, I don't know if anyone here has played this game, but this was basically uh, Babe's favorite part of the game. <laughs> this party and infiltrating it. And so I used to watch him play it endlessly. I'm gonna do it this way. <clears throat> I'm Mr. Smith. He's gonna be mad at me though. Uh, or thrilled. Hey, what's up, Coffee? Good to see you. Welcome to Mission Possible, featuring Daniel and me. Hey, Coffee. But no Tom Cruise. Yeah, I wonder if this whole thing where they're talking about with the one person thing that I'm a movie star is a jab at them not getting Tom Cruise. He's too <laughs> Hollywood for us. Yeah, you know what? It kind of is, Jeff. Dave, like for Teddy, he was invited to the party. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Ricky? Good to see you. Hey, Ricky. I don't know how to do this. It's not going to turn out no matter how I do it. So I'm just going to... Oh, I wasn't doing anything, sir. I'm just going <laughs> to stab at this. It, it, like, you know, you get missions. I heard, in fact, rumor tell that they were going to have a, uh, for the pause screen, him looking at his watch, and then after GoldenEye came out, they said, we better not. We better not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why so many people wanted to compare this to GoldenEye. It's like, oh, it's a shooter. You're a, a secret agent. Um, <laughs> Boom. That's about it. It's based a on a movie. Based <laughs> on a movie. Okay, well, you know. But uh, did Goldeneye have piano music? I don't know. Real-time piano music? Watch out for Schofeld. She's extremely dangerous. See? Blofeld? Schofeld? <laughs> he's, he's on the up and up. Would you think anyone... <laughs> Isn't the world is not enough of poor man's golden eye? Yeah. I I would agree with that. Some people actually like that game. And I mean, it's not, it's not the worst thing. Better not pull out my bait stick. Is golden eye a poor man's Austin Powers? Why was there no N64 Austin Powers game? Missed opportunity. That would have been so cool. This is scary what I've drawn. Uh, Rage Mario, I'd like to apologize in advance. I may be spoiling what the picture is. It's Jazz's fault. Blame Jazz when you see this. Thanks. Or or praise Jazz, I don't know. 
some idiot walked off with this court. There's Austin Powers Pinball, and then there's like these PDA games for Game Boy Color, and they did the Pokemon Red and Blue scam. There's like an Austin Powers version, and then Dr. Evil's uh, Evil Lair, or some junk like that. I don't know. We should play those on multi-tap some night. <laughs> there's also Austin Powers Operation Trivia, which was a You Don't Know Jack ripoff. And what's really funny about that is people who worked on the game wrote reviews on Amazon. And it, they're so transparent. They're like, wow, this game is really great. They did such a good job in like praising it. And I think it even says like they're from Berkeley, California or something or wherever Berkeley Systems was located. And it's like, wow, they didn't try to hide it. This game is really good. I mean, granted, I'm sure that's not the only Amazon review like that, but yeah. yeah, you'll you'll see why, guys. You'll see why. You'll see. Maybe. Oh wait, there you are. Oh, he's gonna be furious. Oh, so it is Berkeley. I mean, I guess that would make sense that Berkeley <laughs> Systems would be based in Berkeley, California. No, that's Schofield. She was gonna assassinate me, but don't worry, I took care of that little problem. Oh, the Sage Advice won't work? Uh, yeah, if you want to do that, Kamish, go ahead. If you ask me, I'll, I'll give you the Sage Advice for free, so that way, if the advice uh, sucks, I don't have to give you a refund. And if it's great, you got free Sage Advice. Soon, I hope, God, God. Comcast has given up on Fox, so Disney wins. However, now Comcast is trying to buy Sky Network from the UK. However, Fox is trying to buy them as well. Shouldn't Comcast just go away and give up? Uh, in the wise words of Tim Allen in Galaxy Quest, never give up, never surrender. They probably should give up, yes. This is why the sage advice was free. Because I had no good advice. Hope you liked it, Kamish! Alright, I think I'm almost done with this sketch, but I gotta add some stuff. <laughs> it was, he was, you know, doing a smooth slide across the bar. Nothing weird about that. I heard it was alright, Coffee. I've only seen bits and pieces of it, though. So. Let's see. <laughs> I think, you know, you gotta understand, this is Mission Possible. <laughs> <laughs> that was the national anthem of uh, Slovakia that he was just playing. Oh, Kamish! Thank you for the 61 bits, Kamish 61. Much appreciated. Oh. Oh, gotta finish this picture. Almost done. Oh, great. Hey, <laughs> thousand jiggies. Pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, this marker, not so good. I'm an ambassador. <laughs> We're going to pray that doesn't happen, Jess. The whole mission rides on no one wanting to go to the bathroom. Gamble them all? Bad guy. All right. So I don't know if we want to pause or if Daniel just oh, wants sure. to keep going. Well, <laughs> we'll see. So Jazz requested Rage's Grand Return as a multi-tap Mugen whiteboard sketch. Oh, what's up, Decemic? Good to see you. So <laughs> I drew your character, Rage Mario. <laughs> I'm a back. Welcome back, Rage Mario. Hey. Woo! Ooh, that is a frightening picture. But I mean, you know, it vaguely looks like your character. Uh, okay, welcome back. So there you go. I hope you like it. Call that. I'll t take a picture of it. Ooh, I get saluted now. Yeah, Comcast is not a good company, for sure. Let me, oh, thank you, Rage Mario. I honestly, I was thinking about doing Uncle Phil, 
but then I'm like, you know what? I'll go for this. <laughs> Think. I got a good. Wow! Don't drop your phone, stupid. Oof. Oh, that's still your Steam profile pick, nights. Who did that Okeki picture? It was Dragmire, right? The Uncle Phil Okeki picture. That was pretty great. That's true, Choco. James Avery. Uh, you want to hear a story? Did you hear about what happened to me at Target, bad guy? Because that's like the only story I have recently. If you didn't, I'll tell the story. If you did, then I'll skip over it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> That's what Roadrunner was, I think. All right, so you probably heard about the target coupon glitches or whatever. So I was like, hey, I'm going to get a switch for Daniel so that way we can play uh, those local wireless switch multiplayer games and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that'll be cool. It'll be a cheap switch. So I ordered that up with uh, all the stacked coupons or whatever. Went to my target to pick it up. And when I got there, there was already somebody picking up an order. And it was about like six Nintendo Switch systems. Uh, a few games, a few accessories. A couple things for the kids. I forget what they cited as the subtotal. It was something like $1,400, maybe more than that. Like $800 worth of savings, something crazy. Basically, it was a scalper or flipper uh, getting a whole bunch of Nintendo Switches for real cheap, or so they thought, to uh, sell on Craigslist. Yeah, basically frame. And here's what's funny about this story. Instead of playing it like a cool customer when they were uh, picking up their huge order of Nintendo Switches as soon as one of the Target workers handed them their uh, bags of goodies, they proudly proclaimed, well, happy birthday to me! <laughs> it's like they, they didn't even wait till they were out of the store with their stuff. They just like started bragging about what they got and then as fate would have it, a different Target employee ran up and said, hold that transaction. It, basically, they had orders from higher up that all these things need to be canceled and held. And their attitude changed very quickly <laughs> when they were told they could not have all of their switch systems. It basically started chewing out the Target employees saying, what are you gonna do to make this right? This is Target's problem. And you know, normal, uh, agitated consumer stuff and of course as a result of this they also told me that mine was canceled but i didn't want to stick around to see if this person uh did anything violent so i just left i was like all right well that's enough target for me so yeah i think the story had a happy ending because the scalper didn't get their switches but i don't know what happened afterwards yeah i didn't i didn't want any part of that. So unfortunately, Daniel's gonna have to share uh, my Switch for the time being. Can't believe Target's anti-birthday. It's anti-scalper. <laughs> well, happy birthday to me! And there was one other comment I forgot to mention that he made when they were like looking it up and trying to figure out how to like reverse it or if they should honor it. He, he was still bragging. He's like, looks like I tricked the system. <gasps> I was like, wow, you are not getting those switches. <laughs> you are not getting those switches. But Dragmire's getting a shed from Target with uh, his coupon, so good job, Dragmire. Happy birthday to you. Hey, what's up, King of the Jungle? Good to see you. Welcome to Multitap. We're playing Mission Impossible N64 as Ethan Hunt the same character Tom Cruise was in the movie. But I'm an ambassador right now. He's he's wearing a disguise. <laughs> this guy's just chilling in a chair. And he looks like us on multi-tap. <laughs> now we get get the armrest down. <laughs> Giant Jenga! <laughs> hey, thanks for dropping by coffee. I we'll coffee. see you later. Sorry if my chair pose scared you away, but 
wouldn't be the first time that's happened on multitap. Punch him again. I think he's our friend. <laughs> yeah, that was an agent that got captured. Fortunately, a punch that he's. I think he's just drugged. Psychotic spoon. I don't think he's dead. Got it. I think. Ooh, I think boy. he's okay. If he's your friend, punch uh, him more. Oh boy. Yeah. This probably isn't good. So Daniel blew his cover. <laughs> Don't worry, I can fix this. Daniel's got a way to fix it. <laughs> That's what this, I just love seeing those bodies dragged off. He does look like Ormo. Don't you wish we could do that on multi-tap? Check this smooth maneuver. Like hover your hands in the- I've arrested him, don't worry. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Wow. He's good. Hello, you. Sir, yes, sir. Don't worry, I've arrested him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he just believes it. Also, I'm using this weird device on the computer. <laughs> Daniel is the smoothest <laughs> oh, operator. Rick, they oh, oh, what the? <laughs> what? Hey! I just, I just want to see if there were any cartoons on. You know what? This might be a good idea because as long as they don't best start not, the alarm, best not to let them loose after all they've seen. What? You know what? Actually, you know what? Can I like? Oh, actually, that killed them. I guess I was gonna finish the job, but. <laughs> Let's see what else. Whoa. I'm dark gun. James Bond looking good. That looks just like Pierce Brosnan, huh? How do they do it? Video game magic. Lifelike graphics. Whoa. Remember we met him, Dragmire. <laughs> Rest in peace. Is Jaws the greatest Bond villain? I'd like to think so. Wow, we met. I guess he had their gun. Ooh, bookshelf. Where's that bad boy at? What if I was to tell you Mission Impossible on the Wii? OMG! No way! If they can do a new Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise's real face on the Wii? Bestseller. On the Wii, which is still a popular system. Oh, what's up, Pillow? Good to see ya. OM Wii. We're playing some uh, Mission Impossible on Nintendo 64. I don't know if you've ever watched any of those Mission Impossible movies, but this game's based on the first one. Or so we've been saying tonight. Got it. There we go. Find the dark gun. Done. That choke was courtesy of Choco Jr. Wow. He's got a future in comedy. Oh, how was that pillow? I heard from Scott it was pretty good. I don't think I've heard anyone say, oh, that movie is no good. It's also based on GoldenEye 007. Mm. Apparently. I mean, some of these people look a little GoldenEye-ish, I suppose. Don't worry, I'll cover you, dude. Oh, I'll need to check that out, Pillow. Oh, I don't have the exit pass card. Here's my problem. Um, I'm cheap when it comes to movies, and I got two free passes that expire... I think at the end of August. And so my options for seeing movies are as follows. I can use those passes on Ant-Man and Wasp, or I can go see Christopher Robin, the Winnie the Pooh movie. I was thinking I'd go see Christopher Robin because it's got Ewan, or Ewan McGregor in it, but there it is. maybe I should go Not see Ant-Man and Wasp instead. I don't know. It's a Tough choice, I know. Ewok e McGregor, I mean, he played an Ewok, I wouldn't be 
too been out of shape. The trailers look decent enough, so I don't know. I may go see Christopher Robin. Just don't know. Too many movies. So little time. I like to get my uh, movies adapted to N64 games first <laughs> and then consume them. Yes. Like I've only watched the real Mission Impossible film once, but I've seen this game played through many, many times. Have you ever played The Floor is Lava? Yes. What about The Floor is Electrify? <laughs> Have you ever played Lights Out? <laughs> Have you ever played Minesweeper? Have you ever tried to box someone while they aim a gun point blank at you? He's ducky! <laughs> Fooey's top strat. The ducks. The floor is lava! <laughs> what? Look at these moves. Yeah. He's like a talking expert, I think. Ethan Hunt, Kung Fu expert. <laughs> Didn't know. Ooh. Will Launchpad show up? Oh, you mean I'm supposed to provide Launchpad? I don't think I have any Launchpad merch, but I do have something DuckTales. I have a couple DuckTales things. I'll, you know what? I'll go get them. We have Scrooge somewhere, oh. but don't know. Oh, oh geez, that hurt. Figure it out yet, Candace? It's burning. Oh. You can't Sorry. blame that on me. <laughs> yeah, I blame it on Launchpad. When I start holding up things and blocking Daniel's TV, that might be a problem. <laughs> Actually, let's do this. It'll be better this way. You gotta see the scary closet that you're not supposed to see on multi tap. All right. Or blame it on the fact I tried to box the guard. So. Here's the first thing. It is a Scrooge McDuck figure. I think we need to zoom in. Can you see the name in the corner? Ring any bells? Funko? Huh? <laughs> it's not a Funko Pop, but I mean, you know. And then the second thing's really small. I don't think this is gonna show up, but we'll try. Let's see. Uh, look, it's a very small Gizmo Duck. Eh? Yeah, Funko Gizmo Duck actually makes some good toys. Who would have thought? So there, there's your ducktail stuff, bad guy. I'm sorry I don't have a launch pad, but did they ever make a good launch pad toy? I don't think so. If Funko made a figure like this, <laughs> but with a launch pad. Oh, what are those things called? The little slug people or whatever? The Fermies or something? Yeah, Terra Fermies. Terra Fermies. Terra Fermians. Something like that. Ooh, choking hazard. Burbies. <laughs> <laughs> Burbies! That's exactly right. Remember the McDonald's Furby toys? Good times. Oh, Terra Firmix. Oh, wait, I don't. Which one's which? I want to see the Launchpad plush, bad guy. Is the world is. Is that the world is not enough on the left? Dragmire? Because honestly, in that picture, it's as weird as it looks, it's looking better. Whatever game that is. You wore it better. Whoa. It had better graphics. Who knew? Who knew? Gameplay may not have been very good, but I mean, impressive. I like, uh, but I like the young Pierce Brosnan on the right. The one on the left. Oh, come on! <laughs> Looking a little gray. Son of a gun. Is that... Die another day? Oh, world is not enough. 
PlayStation 1. Did Diner or Day have a game? Oh, it's in the prototype. I see. Tomorrow never dies. Okay. I think if I was going to rank the James Bond games, I'd probably put... Oh, let me click on that. I don't think it's... Uh... All right, there we go. Whoa. That is... I mean, it is vaguely Launchpad. That's like how I would draw Launchpad <laughs> in plush form. So, you know. Yeah. Looking good. Actually, no, I probably would struggle even to draw that, but uh, looks great. Hmm. Looks great, bad guy. I liked Nightfire. Agent Under Fire multiplayer, probably the best because of the random hook shots. But like, I mean, yeah, clearly GoldenEye 007 is going to take the crown for both good single player and multiplayer. But I'm trying to remember from Russia with Love had a weird like deathmatch multiplayer where you could use jetpacks and it was kind of fun. Yeah, Agent Under Fire was not Brosnan. It was just it was James Bond. Maybe it was the real James Bond in Agent Under Fire. The real Bond. You don't know. I like the rip-off Brosnan voice they do in uh Agent Under Fire. Actually in Nightfire, is it his voice or it's just his face? I don't think he did the voice, but whatever voice they have in Agent Under Fire is like a vague imitator of Pierce Brosnan. And he says, fireworks at the beginning of the game. <laughs> and that always made me laugh. It's after he blows up something with his magic wristwatch made by Q. James Bond has a lot of technology at his disposal. He's a spy, in case you didn't know. Sometimes I forget. He likes to solve mysteries and stuff. Hey, what's up, Zeke? Good to see you. <laughs> Funny that you mentioned that. There are two difficulties in this game, Zeke. Impossible and possible. And guess which one Daniel chose? <laughs> guess which one? <laughs> Oh, okay. Interesting. Welcome to the toxic gas factory, everybody. Uh, gotta move. Platforms over here. Oh, nice moves. <laughs> Way to go. Care to join me? There we go. <laughs> she just wanted to keep you in suspense. Will I jump or will I not? <laughs> Don't shoot her. Candace is on your side. I'm just, you know, keeping an eye on her. Don't want her to not get off the platform. I mean, at least this isn't like control levels of... Uh... <laughs> Hostage, it's not hostage, uh, escort mission. Oh, wait, I'm out of points. Wait, not with this. Better to use five or six of them. Remember protecting Natalia? Good times. <laughs> totally it. different from Goldeneye. <laughs> there, she got it. I think she mashed buttons on the keyboard and then just touch the computer and that got the list that's what i do oh geez is that how hacking works oh no do we have any hackers in the chat if so don't hack me thanks Dead. better watch my ammo <laughs> yo what's up frame don't hack me thanks hmm. we we kind of got an agreement frame won't hack me and uh, I will. What can I do for Freem? I definitely can't hack him, so uh, oh. I will give Freem Roman Reigns merchandise. I'm gonna get hacked. Give Freem jiggies. Yeah, bonus jiggies for not hacking me. Thanks, Freem. 
A rubber fish. Oh, that was actually the phrase. Phrase game, am I right? Wear a frame mask and win the trivia game every single friggin' night. He doesn't win every night. Frame, you don't win every trivia game, right? <laughs> pretty, pretty sure not all of them. Yeah! <laughs> Look at these moves. <laughs> well. Get the goodie. And say you couldn't have won those because you weren't watching. What? No, don't close that. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm con- Oh, it on, dude. Why does he need the mask when he has the magic face maker? I mean, I know it's busted, but- Or something, I don't know. It just seems weird. I- Party City Halloween mask is gonna help you? Like, you need the person to do it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> but it's not as high-tech as the face maker, so... It's kinda... <laughs> I, kinda low rent. Well, we can't all be James Bond. I like gadgets. Oh, he stole the list. That's okay. Got some ammo. <laughs> Ella. Probably shouldn't have. Oh, wait, I have a gun too. I know there's three toads, bad guy. And they have a bird that acts like their splinter. And there's a dark queen who's like the shredder. That's all I know. I think it's supposed to be like a Ninja Turtles riff. Could be wrong. Could be some kind of Ninja Turtles parody. Not too sure. How do you feel about the Turbo Tunnel? Hate it. Turbo Tunnel's got good music at least <laughs> go ninja go ninja go of all of the ninja turtle ripoffs what are your favorites because you've got like what you got street sharks biker mice from mars cheetah men everyone loves the cheetah men i don't know if samurai pizza cats count as a ninja turtles ripoff but it's pretty close uh who else am i forgetting SWAT cats? I don't know. I I feel like no. And that's only because there's two of them, but I mean... This, I don't know, that's a tough call, Choco. I don't think Power Rangers is a Ninja Turtles ripoff. But I suppose. I suppose. I don't... I don't... Um. Space on. there's this video that they put out when they were bringing Sailor Moon to the US. And they had some bar graphs and they said Sailor Moon is more popular than Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers combined. And that was supposed to get people on board and it worked. Gosh darn it. So good job, uh, executives. That's it. I mean, Battletoads, pretty good. I feel like there's some I'm missing. I don't think the stone protectors count. Yeah, sorry, they don't beat that level, Alan. However, I think it comes back. Like, I think there's another opportunity to go back there. But it may not be till much later. Hey, what's up, Desu? Good to see ya. Help, smoke. How's it going, Desu? This is not Resident Evil Outbreak, but uh, almost as good. I'm looking forward to playing that again and having space on carry us through another adventure as a uh, gym. That should be fun. Does that save our progress or does it not really matter for Resident Evil Outbreak? It seemed like it had everything unlocked already. And I don't know if that's just the unofficial server or what. And we're not doing too bad. Good Monday for Mission Impossible. We're really excited about the umpteenth uh, Mission Impossible movie coming to theater soon that I don't even know the name of. Tom Cruise still getting work. Good for him. So we're celebrating. 
Okay, cool. That was a lot of fun. Like, that was my first time playing Resident Evil Outbreak, obviously. And it was pretty neat. It was just like a real Resident Evil game, but multiplayer. Mission never impossible. Very possible. Look at these smoke effects. Whoa. Is your mind blown yet? I'm gonna like uh, confuse myself trying to explain this, but we had this thing and Dave could back me up if he were here, but it was a, there was some kind of festival local to us, like where people would gather and they'd have food, music, all that kind of stuff in the park. And the local firefighters would always bring like, I don't know how to describe it. It was like a role playing trailer where it was like somebody's house recreated in a trailer and they were basically asking you to pretend that it was on fire and they had like fog going through it just like this and you had to basically role play and touch the door handle and if it was hot you knew there was a fire in the other room and you had to go find a door that was safe so it was like an escape room for kids that taught you about fire safety and it was kind of weird I don't know why I'm telling you this story. I just saw the smoke on the floor and I'm like, hey, it's like that time I pretended I was in a fire. I mean, it was, it's pretty immersive. A good way to educate, edutainment. <laughs> I like the smell of smoke story. No, that's, that's the closest I've been to a real fire, I think. I don't think I've had any close calls yet, but stay tuned with this new uh, lighting setup on Multitap. There will probably be a fire in the future <clears throat> and all the wires and stuff. You know, you never know. Never know. I think I wonder it might have been a like Scruff McGruff thing. It kind of seems like it was. <laughs> Rick, I was wondering I should have reported as soon as they figured me out. You got me. <laughs> May it might you yeah well I don't know I don't remember Smokey the Bear being part of it but it could I don't know let's go with maybe <laughs> if the room catches fire keep the stream going the show must go on through fire rain and snow there's got to be a multi tap show just giving him a quick spritz of the fire extinguisher. No biggie. Ethan, he snuck up on me. Get him quick. Okay. I uh, got him. Maybe. Is she hiding in the bathroom? Oh, wait. Is Candace in that suit? No, she's in the elevator right now. Oh. We'll give her a fireman suit. I actually did before, but since I didn't knock out that guy on the way, he knew that we were firemen, so our whole plan of escaping as firemen was uh, no good. Make sure to save Unholy Knight. First thing I'll go for when the house starts on fire. Where's Unholy Knight? I need it. <laughs> if the fuse runs out, yeah, that's basically his health bar pillow. Yeah. That's not a timer. There are timers in the game, and they are not fused. If you saw it draining slowly earlier, it might have been because he was in like a poisonous room or something. But yeah, normally it's just based on if you're taking damage or not. Yeah. Rage knows what's up. Did anyone ever play that arcade firefighting game? Was it Sega that made it? It was like a track shooter. Actually, I don't know if it was, I think it was on rails, but you had like a big fire hub. Burning Rangers, that's probably it. Well, is that the Saturn game? I haven't played Burning Rangers. I know what that is. What I'm thinking of is like real firefighters. So we Arcade do, game. We do all that work uh -oh. and they put me in the box. 
You survived the embassy mission yeah. against all odds. An impossible feat without compatriots on the other side. It was an impossible mission. <laughs> an impossible feat. This game has really good writing. Yeah, I think Freem's right. It's a Model 3 thing. Like, I've seen Burning Rangers, but I've never played it. I've heard it's pretty good. Man, I really want to play that. I like the theme song. Oh, you do? All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know how good the game is. But I'm, no, I'm going to make a note of it. Because <laughs> if you didn't know, Daniel, we have this stream where we play retro <laughs> games. So Burning Rangers, Saturn coming soon to multi-tap. That's it. That's the one space song. What's it called? Is it the firefight? Brave firefighters. Brave that game and what are the other ones? I don't know why I always associate these games with each other, but I, whenever I see Brave Firefighters, I think of that real truck, magical truck adventure <laughs> game where you uh, are on like the rails and you're pumping the minecart. <laughs> and what's that other one where you bounce them together? Panic Park or yeah. is it Panic Park? I think so. I always lump those games together and then throw Star Wars trilogy in there. Why not? <laughs> I don't think they're all the same hardware but i imagine a few of those are model three i know of it because of that and fantasy star online right yeah those are our favorite games sega made good games who would have thought us sega fans know yes sir but you know nintendo made okay games i guess <laughs> yeah. a sega fan <laughs> Did you know Shinobi? I forgot what that guy said at the game store. It was something uh, very correct about Shinobi. And God bless PSO2. Sega made a good game? Dave would always joke. He's like, yeah, I love all the Genesis games. He's like, Sonic 1 through 3. He thinks only the Sonic games are good. That was that was his joke. <laughs> I, I I never really laughed, but I mean he thought it was funny. You do you? That should put him out. Gamer jokes for us, Sega gamers. Hey, what's up, Maticus? Oh, Maticus. Good to see ya. How's it going? Welcome to Mission Impossible N64, starring not Tom Cruise. Daniel's Tom Cruising for a bruising on this multi tap. <laughs> do you choose to accept it? I do. I choo choo choose to accept it. That should put him out. This is quite the outfit Ethan has. <laughs> that dark gun doesn't scare me. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Ever been tased? <laughs> Don't uh, tase me, friend. I stepped on some electric floor. It's about the same sensation. Yeah, he's playing as Ethan right now. Phelps is uh, helping him out. Would they give me to drink? My legs feel like rubber. You know, a little woozy. No biggie. Oh, they gave him LaCroix. <laughs> oh. I can still make it. There's no nutrients in LaCroix. <laughs> this ain't nothing but sparkly water. <laughs> Feeling woozy. All right, so how would a spy deal with, you know, getting over being drugged? Um. Here's how Ethan does it. Um. Go up to the first nice nurse he sees and ask for an antidote. Give him a pill. I think that's what he's going for. May I have a pill, please? You don't seem to be in very good shape. Here, drink this. It should make you feel better right away. Oh gosh, thanks. What? <laughs> See? <laughs> that's better treatment than I get at the real doctor. <laughs> Wow. And you know what we should do to thank him? <laughs> Hit the pratfall button. Yikes. 
Huh. Distract attention, done. <laughs> that ought to divert some eyes. Huh. Oh no. It's Fix It Felix. Can I clean your windows, sir? <laughs> He did it. He escaped. It's just that easy. Good job, Daniel. All right, this is my favorite track in the game. <laughs> Good. You'll be hearing it a lot. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hopefully, Daniel's going to blast past this level. Easy peasy. Got the security card. No biggie. <laughs> I like setting off alarms. It's become my trademark. <laughs> I like how Ethan talks down to you. <laughs> you better stay clear of those searchlights. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a good idea to run through the searchlight. I don't want to be detected. <laughs> Would be bad. She runs like he has to go to the bathroom. What are you talking about? This is state of the art animation, Maticus. When this game came out, it didn't get very good reviews, but... Uh, and maybe he does. He... <laughs> they made him drink a lot of weird stuff, so, you know. You'll see him complaining about coffee later. A lot. Oh, that coffee. <laughs> so nasty. Does he, like, do that in the movie, or is that more creative writing? <laughs> the theme. It seems like he does. That's why I need to watch the movie again. Especially after seeing you play this. <laughs> so I can compare. Because like I remember the first movie being entertaining enough, but I don't know if it's held up. I'll have to see. The only thing that really came out of that first movie, except for like the boatload of sequels, was uh, everyone imitating the the the, the wire scene with oh, the that's lasers. A thing that this game doesn't have that. Um, oh, midway ish. Yeah. It's like honestly, yeah, kind of. I guess midway. -ish? I don't know. Uh oh, midway until I need to get my key. Oh wait, he opened it. For me. Ooh, camcorder. Got your Sony Handycam. Yeah, do, is that a good figure for you, Alan? Um, I can give you a percentage. 51.34% complete. <laughs> About, approximately. Put, put a tilde somewhere. Ooh, there's a the helicopter. Like, yeah, honestly, I don't remember exactly how this game goes. Because I would watch Dave play it. Margin of, margin of error plus or minus 0.002%. Dave played all the games for us. And so I've passed on that tradition on Multitap by making Daniel play all the games. <laughs> As the middle child, it is my job to not lift a finger, I think. Is that how it works with middle children? Yeah, probably. It's not a bad game frame. Like, it's rough around the edges, for sure. And I think it got more uh, guff because it took forever to come out, and it was hyped up, and Goldeneye happened, and everyone's comparisons to it. But if you just look at it as its own game and you don't think about what could have been, it it's decent. It's pretty fun. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I some of the graphics are goofy, but it's just like, I'm it's N64. What you gonna do? PlayStation, uh, there's a PlayStation version of the game and I have not played that. I 
but I've heard that it may actually be better in some respects, so it would be interesting to see that. So if you're going to play it, Alan, maybe try the PlayStation one. And if you hate it, then snap the disc in half. <laughs> Immediate. Yeah. I don't know if they only did it on PlayStation and N64 or if there's other ports. I should look that up. Mission Impossible. It almost seems like there's a PC one, but no. I'm crazy. There's just N64 and PlayStation. Go figure. I have not done any of the codes yet. I think if Daniel clears the game tonight, uh, we'll give it a try, Alan. And if not, we for sure will try it tomorrow. But I don't want to impede his progress. Daniel's got all this energy and we got to harness it so he can beat this great game. Best game on the N64? Maybe. The best. I'll just leap down here. That'll solve all my problems. But I've never played the world. It's not enough, so I can't really compare this to that. Maybe Twine is the greatest spy game ever. I just remember people abbreviating it as Twine, and that was a thrill for me. Twine was more like Goldeneye. Oh, okay. Did it have good multiplayer? Got him. Got him. Oh wait, you know what? We did play it. I remember we, like, I forget how this happened, but we were just playing random N64 games with Gumble, and he said, oh, dude, the world is not enough. And he loaded it up, and we thought he was crazy because, you know, why would you play a game that's not Goldeneye 007? And he's like, dude, I swear, this multiplayer is so good. And I don't remember uh, much about it, but it was actually fun. Like, we had a good time playing it, so... Gumble approves of Twine. Uh-oh. This mission failed good. No. <laughs> One of these guys... Like, you have to get the gondola level. One of these guys. I'm trying to remember what we played in that. It was just like a bunch of tunnels. Like, clearly I wasn't... It didn't leave too much of a mark on me. But I didn't hate it. Like, I was expecting going in that it was going to be dreadful through and through, but afterwards I was like, you know what? That wasn't so bad, Gumble. That was alright. <laughs> That's alright. I wish I could remember, like, literally anything about it, but I can't. It's basically like when you invite Smash Brothers players over to your house, and you say... Let's play something different from Melee. They may humor you and play that non-Melee game, but they'll go right back to Melee afterwards. <laughs> that was fun, but can we play Melee? It's like when you say, let's play Blaze Blue, and I go, that's cool. Can we go back to Street Fighter 2? Uh-oh. Freeze! Or when we invite Alan over to play uh, Zelda Four Swords, and he says, that's cool, can we play Grail now? Hmm. Grail Grawl. Grawl it up. That's cool, can we play Wind Waker HD now? What's up, Shake Soda? Good to see ya. Don't know if I already said hi to you or not, but hello. No, Alan. Alan's a. Actually, I don't know if Alan is a Zelda fan, but I think I think he is. He likes Zelda. Who doesn't like Zelda, right? Come on. Oh, well, good to see you, Shake Soda. We're playing this fine game, Mission Possible, featuring 
Ethan Hunt, Nintendo 64 Classic. Like I, I can't say that I like the N64 Zeldas so much, but I did like playing uh, one and two on NES. Link's Awakening is pretty cool. I like Link to the Past. That's a good one. I have not played Wind Waker, so I really can't say anything about Wind Waker. It looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And, like, I didn't play Oracle of Seasons or Ages, but I've seen Daniel and uh, Dave play enough of it. And they look pretty neat. All right. No, I really like them. If you're going to play Wind Waker, I strongly recommend HD over the original. I think we got that on uh, Wii U. But does HD have the Tingle Tuner? <laughs> no, Tingle Tuner? <laughs> haven't played Spirit Tracks. Uh, I actually have not played Breath of the Wild either. I only watched Daniel play it. I, I, I don't know. I guess me and 3D Zeldas don't get along. There's some good ones on 3DS, aren't there? Like, there's the Majora's Mask 3D. I have not played Tingle's Rosie Ruby Land. I heard it was okay. Wand of Gamelon, you know, there's a... Whew, there's a Zelda classic right there. That's a Zelda. Fast sale inventory is dramatically better. Oh, that's cool. But Tingle Tuner. Is it worth the Tingle Tuner? Probably not. Is it worth the tuning? Freeze! And I didn't play Twilight Princess or uh, Skyward Sword. Yeah, there's Link Between Worlds. There's that Four Swords game they did. Oh, wait, no, Triforce Heroes is what they called it. That one's pretty good. I like Triforce uh, Heroes. That was fun. I didn't play a whole lot of Triforce Heroes, but the little bit I did was pretty, pretty fun. Hey, buddy. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... We played that at Tapcon Addy with Zeke, and Zeke was a good team player. Oh, yeah. He was at, like, I was expecting he was going to uh, treat me like Dave does when we play Zelda games, but it was uh, actually quite the opposite. So thank you, Zeke, <laughs> for not torturing me. Thanks. Normally, like, when I play Four Swords with Dave, it's a competition to see who can be the biggest jerk, and we don't know who the winner is yet. We're still, uh, Daniel's still debating yeah. which of us is the bigger jerk in Four Swords. Yeah. yeah. Whoever gets the most rupees wins, right? Force gems. They're force gems. Forced. Whoa. I love TMNT 2 NES. Like, I know it's not quite the arcade game, but considering it's a really good port. I like all the music renditions. I think I might like it more than uh, TMNT 3, which I guess is kind of blasphemy because they did a lot of good stuff in TMNT 3, but I don't know. It's probably just nostalgia more than uh, anything. Yeah, and you get that snow level. That's a good one. Fight the uh, icy mascot. <laughs> he throws rocks at you. Oh wait, and there's a there's at least two extra stages because there's like the ninja house or whatever with the yeah 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 yeah. There's at least two. Pretty cool. Shut the door, Ethan. In Resident Evil Outbreak, it was very important to shut doors. 
and watch out for zombies. Yeah. And sometimes ram doors in. Is this your Cable Guy outfit? Yeah, it is. Actually. Has anyone ever watched the Cable Guy movie? And did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you invite the Cable Guy over? For a nice hot cup of cocoa? You want to hear a Choco Jr. comedy? Yes. Let it rip. The future is now. Cable guy. Jim Carrey's a hoop. Are you guys ready for him to be Robotnik? I bet that's going to be great. And then he can do a new Mask movie as well. And his career will be complete. What do you call it when you fondly remember something funny? In, in some ways, yes, Maticus. A nostalgia joke. <laughs> That's really good, Choco Jr. He should write a book. Choco Jr.'s A Thousand Funnies. Better watch my ammo. Hey, what's up, multi-tap Dave? Hey, Dave. Oh, Dave. Dave could help me. Welcome to Chicken Impossible. Actually, I doubt he could, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Dave is a pro at this game. He'll help out. Dave, I'm looking for a... What am I looking for? A third zone digit card, and one of these guys has it. Uh-oh. That may be too specific of a question for yeah. Dave. Yeah. It's CC's Dave. Live and in the chat. Clip them all, dude. It's the only way to be sure. Thanks, Dave. I mean, that was pretty much my plan. Thanks, David. Dang it. Really? Dave was trying to figure out what he should come and play on the next multi-tap. Because I think we're going to wait for Shenmue 2 the HD version, but Dave may show up sooner than that. So if Dave was on multi-tap, what would you have Dave play? Oh, never mind. That's weird. I guess I didn't have the one at the other time, so I couldn't go into that door. I don't think Shenmue 3 is out yet, uh, Maticus. I think that's still a work in progress. Maybe sometime next year? Street Fighter 3, first to 10. Last time we played on the Wii uh, Street Fighter 30 space on, Dave was doing pretty well, so it could be Dave's redemption tour, kind of like Billy Mitchell. Road to redemption. Have Dave play Cheetah Man. Ooh. Would Dave play Cheetah Man and enjoy it? This time I used up all the game off. He cheats when he wins? No! He doesn't cheat, I don't think. If he does, shame on you. Just ignore me, dude. Hey, what's up, System Defect? Good to see ya. Dave's number one fan, System Defect, everybody. Welcome to Multitap. We're playing Tom Cruise's most fun adventure. Am I gonna be able to get past him? Do you have your? I think he has his own pizza, Maticus. Oh man, I might be doomed. You won't believe what Space Song just said. What? Actually, you probably can guess. Dave should play Papers, Please, and see how many papers he folds. Yeah. I'll just run past him, no biggie. Well, <laughs> you ever wish you had a time machine, Dave? Yeah. For no reason in particular. Wow, that sucked. You got a taste. <laughs> got a taste of the taser. Ah. Uh, well, at least I have. Uh, oh, you gotta start over. At least I know where the digit IDs are. But Frank, Roger. wasted so much ammo. Fun, fun. 
There are cheats for ammo if worse comes to worse. I think I'll be okay this time, but actually, I could get some extra. Yeah. Well, wait, so it doesn't refresh it when you restart the level? No, it does. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's good on that sense. It's just last time I was trying to like kill everyone to find the one part stuff. Now I can be a bit more conservative, hopefully. Yeah, it's got some good music. That's for sure. And I was actually trying that other time because I didn't try the door again after I got the key. It's like hit or miss on the PlayStation renditions of the same music. Some of them are better. Some of them are worse. It's it's got elements of Metal Gear in it. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can do this. Go up to a wall. Eh? Oh, whoa! <laughs> just like Snake. What's around that corner? I don't know. But it's more like a camera trick than actually looking around it. What's the gooder track of the game? The best track. Are you trying to ruin my grammar? Um. <laughs> Trying to destroy me. Let's see. I like this one a lot. This might be one of my favorites. The goodest. Uh, oof. The Mission Impossible theme. Can't argue with that. The Embassy. The Embassy theme for the Embassy level. That's probably the best in the game. It's a piano track. It's the gooderest. Most funnest game I've played. Yeah, all year. Walk your toilet. Spy fiction? I think I've heard of that, Dave, but could you post a screenshot? I would like to see it. There was some other one. I don't remember what it's called. What's the FMV PlayStation spy game called? I heard that one was uh, a hoot. I don't know if it's a good game. FMV game? Just the spy facts, please. Yeah, that looks like Metal Gear. It's made by Sammy? Now, yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen that play, man. It kind of reminds me of Windback. Remember Windback? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that gun icon definitely... Windback is as close as you can get to Metal Gear on the N64, I think. It's probably better than Metal Gear. I always had more fun playing it because we were doing uh, death matches. Yeah, like I don't, I didn't play a lot of the single player. Dave was big into every aspect of Winback, but I liked the, uh, the versus matches. They were pretty fun. And I think the PS2 one is even better since it like, you know, runs at a smooth frame rate. But Considering we only had the N64 back then, it was more uh, what we were used to. Oh, nice. Death by Degrees. Is that an FMV game? I need to figure out... Let me see if I can figure this out. FMV PlayStation Spy Game. Fox Hunt. Oh, wait, did someone say Fox Hunt already? Did I miss it? Fox Hunt is what I was thinking of. Published by Capcom. Capcom Classic. Oh, Death by Degrees is a Tekken Metal Gear spinoff. Whoa. I don't think you can play Winback on Dreamcast. I think it's PS2 and Nintendo 64. So, yeah. Unfortunately not. Although, did they do... They didn't do PS1 Winback, I don't think. Let me check. Yeah, Winback's N64 and PS2. It's got great music. And you play as John Luke. And that's about all I know. You can knock on walls. <laughs> get rocket launchers. Knock, knock.
what's Death by Degrees? What system? Is that a PlayStation game? There's a lot of good PS1 stuff that we've never really explored, so I'll have to check that out for a future uh, multi-tap. I don't think I don't think the spelling's right, is it? That looks like some maybe a cartoon episode title. I don't think that's right. I'm kind of curious where that came from. Let's see. I don't know why it's even in there. Yeah, the spelling's wrong. There shouldn't be a K, otherwise it's fine. I want to see where that came from. While Daniel tries to uh, beat this impossible mission. <laughs> it's good luck. Hey, well, good luck on Tekken, Maticus. Uh, keep on juggling, my Tekken friend. And hopefully we'll see you some other night. Oh wait, ooh, I almost just broke everything on the computer. I, ju I just deleted everything. Oh no. Let me see, find some files. Oh, I need to put this King of the Iron Fist. Yes. As one does. I don't want to replace. I just want to find it. Find all. Do you know what that is? It's an ALF title. ALF spelled it wrong. It's an ALF episode title. I'm always blaming ALF. It's Alf's fault. <laughs> Good luck, Maticus. Can't believe I can blame Alf for this one. Where's that Alf emote? Is that it? That might be Whoa. Dangerous. Drop all games and only play Blaze Blue. Is that what you're doing? Space on. It's not a bad plan. But you're playing Tekken, Maticus. You can't be a Blaze Blue champion if you play other games. You gotta focus on Blaze Blue cross tag only. You can't play anything else. <laughs> Iron Fist is also a Marvel character. Just above the turtle. Equipped with lasers, you'll have to avoid these. If you want to succeed, I've got a new pirate. Don't well, trigger the lasers. Don't touch them yourself. My problem is I have a lot of trouble getting involved in games that don't have characters that I want to, like, play as, if that makes sense. Which is nothing against Blaze Blue, but it's like I ran into that problem with Guilty Gear as well. I'm like, I don't really know who I like playing as. I kind of played as that Johnny guy and the person who had the bag over their head, uh, Faust or whatever, and opened the door. And it's like, they didn't really do it for me, but that was as good as uh, I could find in Guilty Gear. I was trying to play Witcher 3, but when I found out I couldn't kill every townsperson that was talking garbage to me, I turned it off. Oh. I, I need I need to just try it, I guess. I don't I I haven't given Blaze Blue enough of a chance. From the little bit I've seen Ooh Space on play, it looks pretty fun. Killed in action. That was just like the movie. I think. Just about. Just like the film. We actually, we went back and forth on games to play tonight. This was my idea, Jez. So if you're going to blame anyone, blame me. And do you want to know what game I passed up to play this? I don't know if anyone's going to 
be mad about this or not. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami oh, geez. for PS4. I decided up, I would rather <laughs> watch Daniel play Mission Impossible. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, <laughs> but this game's pretty cool too, right? <laughs> You gotta dodge late. It's classic console showcase. Yeah, that Yakuza game's too new. <laughs> it's too new. This game was on sale when it came out, and that is exactly why we bought it. Instant bargain bin material. If it weren't for the bargain bin, we wouldn't have discovered how good of a game Mission Impossible was, how good of a game Xena 64 was, Bargain bin, hidden gems. Earthbound was actually a bargain bin game, so if you like Earthbound, then you love the bargain bin. Think about that. It's kind of working, Choco. This is like a Jawa racing. Oh, oh, geez. Uh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, did Jawa racing rip off Mission Impossible? Probably. Yeah, well, those lasers stay. I singed my hair. I think I singed my hair. <laughs> this is how Daniel gets Dunkaroos from Canada. <laughs> if you told Daniel there was a Mega Man 11 <laughs> prototype down there, he'd be like, oh, <laughs> strap me in. That really hurt. You can rotate. I guess he's deciding not to. Oh, yeah, here, I'll, I'll show you my uh, strategy when I try to move around. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I I mean, this is what we live for. When I loaded up this game, it, it was with Dave's save file, and I would just go right to this part. <laughs> I wouldn't play the rest of the game, I just messed around this here. This is Mission Impossible. Oh, just like the movie. Oh my goodness, see that's what I hate is I can't really tell when he's getting zapped sometimes. The famous scene though. <laughs> You brought a lot of snacks tonight, cause uh Yeah. Yo! I think I singed my hair. KIA. Can't track these lasers. This is neat. This is so cool, state of the art. <laughs> they should do this should have been a minigame or like a multiplayer minigame mode. Just have it's like a race to whoever can get to the bottom quickest. <laughs> yeah, that'd be uh, awesome. Yeah, that'd be. Is... Well, is he supposed to dodge him, Choco? I don't understand <laughs> what he's doing wrong. I mean, I thought this was how you played. <laughs> Could be wrong. Easy does it, Ethan. You gotta time this just right. No, I'm waiting right now. No, oh, you're smart. It's because someone always has to barge in and use the computer. Do you think he can see you? Yeah. <laughs> that might be Phelps. <laughs> and Phelps just left. Now it's time to download Copy all of his floppies. Oregon Trail, Carmen San Diego, the whole bit. They're all yours. Let's install a new security system and make sure it gives the thieves a little leeway. You know, let them <laughs> hit the lasers a couple times before the alarm goes off. Oh man, I am. Woo! It's the circus! Screwed up my. Whoa! Ethan the acrobat! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Seems like good computer. Oh, uh, look at this guy! What the? Look at him! 
<laughs> Look at this guy go! <laughs> He's so good. I'd like to see uh, anyone here suspended from a bungee. Inside. Hey, straight up, baby! <laughs> I'm so glad they turn off the lasers. <laughs> In Impossible, do they leave the lasers on? I. I don't know, I doubt it, but I, I hope not. I think in Impossible they have more yellow lasers, and yellow lasers are basically insta death. So. Good job, Daniel. Leftover from Halloween. <laughs> the writing is so good! <laughs> I don't know what those are, system defect. <laughs> Oof, got 10 degrees hotter in this room. All of a sudden. <laughs> Almost singed my hair. <laughs> What's up? Freeze! <laughs> Alright. What do I gotta do? Join Heliport, unactivate EMS, save with helicopter. Seems simple enough. Don't forget the gum. Oh! Oh! That really hurt. <laughs> As long as I don't immediately touch it again after I get up. Which he might. Alright. Now here's the bad part. I have to jump over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. Did I not trigger the alarm? Hey, that's, you know, point for me. Yeah, I'm hoping we get to see it tonight, Alan, but if not. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday we will, for sure. The work the guards. Dynamite idea. Dynamite idea. Bubblegum idea. Let's blow him up. <laughs> and broken leg. He's fine. Actually, I'm not fine. I get the feeling that trying to finish the mission still is a fool's errand. No, you're good. Just don't get hit. <laughs> or zapped, or <laughs> dart in your neck, or... Bitten by a dog. Oh, how can you see them all the way over there? Uh, I don't know. You got them, though. You're in good shape. Yep. Nothing can stop you. <laughs> no, unstoppable. I'm impossible. It's impossible to stoppable Ethan Hunt. Oh, this is a million dollar shot. He did it! Unstoppable like Mr. Domino. Oh wait, no, don't put that there. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die from my own explosion. Did it not go off? Is it gonna go off? <laughs> did you waste it? All right, good. I don't think I need it. Okay. Uh, hopefully that guy won't arrest me while I'm chunking this off the side of a building. <laughs> Here we go. May I join you? He's trying to arrest me still. <laughs> it seems like there's a better word for that. <laughs> Nothing comes to mind at the moment. <laughs> Nothing comes to mind. When my PC doesn't work, I like to unactivate it off the balcony. Please activate your Windows XP. Accomplished for once. All right, begin the mole hunt. It's Daniel. <laughs> if there were a multi-tap mole, who do you guys think it would be? And if you say me, then um, you are correct. It was me all along. Me. It's probably Dave. It was Dave. Dave, Dave is the mole. Confirmed. It's gotta be Dave. Adams. <laughs> <laughs> wow, of course, the person we would least suspect. Who, me? <laughs> Adam Sandler? I didn't even consider him a viable threat. I threw it at the light, and the light started wobbling. He's, or, the, he's the mole, he would do that. He's trying to sabotage the stream! Not sabotaging. I gotta be more careful when I'm treating Adam Sandler like garbage. He found them all. 
Ooh, cola. Where's Secret Squirrel? You have my information. Reveal the mole's name without first checking the disc. Fair enough, here's the disc. You have a way to check it here? A portable laptop? Thanks, dear boy. I actually feel like I can trust you, but you shouldn't have trusted me. Dispose of him. Whoops. It's nice knowing you. But don't worry. Oh, wow. He shot him like in the back of the head. <laughs> Better than Golgo 13. Him. All right, this level is amazing, and you'll see why soon. So you gotta protect him, right? Mm-hmm. But you can't just shoot everyone. What's he doing? Oh! oh you gotta wait for them to pull a gun. Just like and lethal so, enforcers. I mean, you know, that seems pretty simple, right? Yeah. That Jigen could have been a bad guy, but maybe not. So, oh, for she, she's, oh, geez. All right. She's gone rogue. What the? Wow, she's invincible. He's good. Maybe you need to calibrate your sniper rifle. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> hey, we're not having very good luck with the part I want to see. I'm sure it'll show up. But sometimes he goes a little out of sight. But don't worry, you have two snipers. Oh! <laughs> two perspectives. Someone's shooting at him. Maybe that guy. He's just showing you his new gun. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty neat, right? <laughs> oh, wait, that's not him. <laughs> Maybe he was gonna. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Wow. Is she punching him? What was she doing? How will you be able to tell if they're pulling a gun on you or just proposing? Well, see, that's what I wanted you to see. Oh, so, does someone actually get so, down on their knee to... So, sometimes people, I don't think they propose, but... They tie their shoes? But, like, they reach into their jacket and they pull out, like, a soda and they drink it. Oh, man, and really? It, yeah, it's funny as heck, but, like, everyone's been pulling out guns. And stuff Everyone and hates you. Huh. Would you like a drink of soda? <laughs> that's how I present sodas to people huh. at the airport. Everyone... They hate Who you, has man. Pulled it out, has had a gun so far. And why do they hate you? What about this guy? <laughs> why? <laughs> Nothing but guns. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty cool level. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You guys come into my uh, Bomberman 64 tournament at the airport? <laughs> Should be a hit. <gasps> Oh no. There we go. Yeah, it's a soda! <laughs> it's not a gun. K kind you of awkward angle to see her at, but yeah, she was just drinking a soda. You <laughs> didn't have to reach for it like that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, concealed carriers here. He's, oh, he's just oh, he's, he's calling, calling somebody. He's That's all. On his phone. I should probably be looking at it. <laughs> reach out and touch somebody. <laughs> Someone pulls out their cell phone, starts playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> Quick, get aboard. If you say so. I'm sure he's good. He's in safe hands now. Someone's gonna pull a soda on him and then <laughs> pull a gun. Oh, what? That, the double swerve. They go, soda, gun. See, that would be great, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> but do they have the sniper level? Looks familiar. I don't get why it carries over your health from the last level. It doesn't seem very nice when you can just reboot and get full health. Oh, yeah, way to go. 
shooter. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, that's a night at Dave's uh, house. Sadly not. Just an evening at Dave's. Oh, be careful here. These Blues Brothers are out of control. Is this Blues Brothers 2000? Awesome. Hey, <laughs> Expect you to take off your shoes when you come in. He's so rude. If you're gonna get up on my laser table, at least take your shoes off. Don't scuff it up. I think that's how people felt when we invited them over and made them watch Food Fight. <laughs> they felt like James Bond in an inescapable situation. Yes, well. <laughs> that's the gun! It looks just like the game. Alright. Hey, you, so, like I said, this game has great writing, right? Yeah. Are you ready for the best exchange ever? Right here. Excuse me, what? Nothing! The face you get accurately reflects. <laughs> oh boy. Excuse me. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Alan and Freem. I I'll never forget <laughs> that dialogue. There was some choice dialogue. <laughs> Check out Alan's clip. It will explain all. Oh man, they're pros now. Oh no, Max has set the bomb. Go hook. <laughs> Thanks. Have ammo for me, dude. Which Tom Cruise image? Ooh, that's pretty good. What's the other one? Oh, we haven't played Zero Wing on multi tap. We gotta do that, Choco. Fight cats. Phelps! So you were the mole, you rat! Sorry, my friend, <laughs> I've got a train to catch. The bottom one! Definitely, I mean, we saw him do that. So, definitely the bottom one. I am really hurt. Laser cruise. Phelps, you rat. What's he? Is he in the ceiling? Maybe I shouldn't watch the movie again. Oh, oh geez. It might be hard to get through. Oh jeez. Hey, oh, liquid who? Liquid nitrogen. Cool. This stuff could freeze a chili pepper and a why is it they, I don't think they spelled chili, right? Sorry. Don't worry, he's spritzing him, Alan. Even better. <laughs> I don't think he's I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't die. <laughs> what, you don't like my technique? No, it's great. This is how you open safe. Do you know what speed has that Mission Impossible doesn't? 
Dennis Hopper, and that's all you need. Alright, I guess that does it. King Koopa. I, I may have got a little practice in that one. I obviously need it. Huh. Catch Phelps. Easy. Should be easy peasy. Oh man. Oh, I forgot Keanu Reeves was in speed. Like, I'm a He's gunner. on the cover. There we go. <laughs> oh! Western Quake. Smoking guns. Pretty cool. We've seen it before, Alan. I don't know if he's seen it recently. It's pretty great. I think Dave actually taped it on VHS because he thought it was so cool. Yeah, that sounds right. So we had seen it a bunch just by playing that tape. We actually taped some uh, Goemon N64 play that I could show to space on. Look, look how bad we can play this game. <laughs> we basically recorded it because of the impact cutscene oh. and the intro. It was like, whoa, real music. <laughs> nice thing. I captured some really bad footage of me playing Shadows of the Empire with cheats on uh, N64 a long time ago. It's very painful to watch, but kind of funny. I put it on YouTube as a secret video. You'll never see it. <laughs> but I, I saved it just in case. There's a dropper coming. You'll oh, submit our Pokemon Snap cartridge to the video game museum. Nice. you guys ever streamed Hunter the Reckoning? I don't think so. And like, I've heard of the title, but I don't, I couldn't tell you like anything about it. Is it any good? May I see a screenshot? <laughs> I doubt we played it ever. And definitely haven't streamed it. What system is it on? You picked up some ammo. Cool. Yeah. This is incredible. <laughs> this is a great sequence. <laughs> like, I mean, you look at this and you try to tell me this is a bad game. <laughs> they... Even if it's a little rough, they tried. You can't say they didn't try. <laughs> there is a lot of effort and heart put into this game. I mean, yeah, it just sounds like they were struggling with the N64 and they couldn't fit all their wonderful ideas. Uh, I think that was a lot of people's problem Nintendo with the N64. Promised the moon. It wasn't very easy to develop for. I don't know that the PlayStation was all that much easier, but I, I mean, you would think it was just based on I don't know that Eurose tells us differently Ooh. well I think <laughs> some of those games are real good <laughs> for student games yeah I don't think I've even seen that be played yeah Saturn oh boy or Saturn it's it's good that Saturn got some fine games at least oh there goes Phelps you picked up some ammo. Brain, would you say you have the most uh, technical knowledge? I caught him. Of the N64. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Did you win? <laughs> uh, Easy. I, I, I caught the mole. I caught the mole. I know Frame's got some PS1 knowledge <laughs> as well. I don't know what Frame knows about the Saturn. Lots. Phelps, you rat. Salute. Congratulations, Agent Hunt. You performed above all expectations. We knew the mole was hidden in the high ranks, but who would have suspected Phelps? Of 
course, we also knew all along that it couldn't have been you. Oh, BS. But you know, accused helped motivate you to uncover the truth, eh, huh? BS. BS. You mean you deliberately set me up? Oh, come on. Where's your loyalty? <laughs> no hard feelings. We're in your deck. We even have a little trip planned as compensation for you and Candace. Vacation or another mission? Uh, well, you're, it, you, you're so good at your job. <laughs> why not? Why not? Another mission. We're in for some more fun and games. It was fun and games. <laughs> Looks like is it? I don't know who would it even look like. How it doesn't look like anybody. I know. Oh wait, does it look like right. Dave? More, more like Dave than me. Okay, so I'm assuming that's you know, where the movie ended. And then they threw in this extra mission, which is basically going back to the first level's place and doing a new mission there. The ice storm. Because you like to be cold, I guess. But don't worry, this time Ethan gets to look at the explodey laptop, so it's different. He's the new Phelps! <laughs> <laughs> Just like the movie, <laughs> I think. Good now I control the fun computer. It seems that your old friend Basil Prokosh has gone active again. We have information that he is in possession of five nuclear detonators and that he's found a buyer. Look at that thumb. Rife with terrorist activity. This deal will go down at the sub base at Lundqvist, where he has apparently upgraded security. That's how I take pictures, land. you know. Your mission, <laughs> should you decide thumb in the picture, step, is to undermine the deal and render all installations on the base useless. As always. Should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed? Oh dang, is anyone else seeing this? Will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Ethan. We left a portable N64 you, for you in the park, yeah. Ooh, an N64 mini? You shouldn't have. The budget <laughs> went to the thumb model. <laughs> <laughs> Covering your screen. <laughs> it's a secret mission. <laughs> Don't look at my little Pichu. <laughs> oh, look at these objectives. Mission impossible. Right. Objective list very impossible. But you're an expert at the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically the best. So should be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's based on? <laughs> Is it fun in games? It was a tiny bomb at least. Yeah, they just like leaving it wherever. They really don't care. That's why they have it explode because they're not gonna hide it. Wait here to like clear the way. Don't forget my mind. Oh, can you pick me up a donut too? <laughs> this guy wants too much. <laughs> oh, I thought you were playing Hitman. Never mind, this mission sucks. <laughs> wow. 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 Yes, well. <laughs> I was a little surprised. I'm like, I didn't realize Space Son was a fan of Mission Impossible. Big fan. <laughs> Never mind. Hitman man have jumping like this. Get the AF scrambler. Forget my mind. My mind, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Yours, nope. Mine. <laughs> this track's pretty dope, right? I mean, you know. Oh, I love this. This is why I could watch a play the game constantly, just so I could hear this song. Same. We would seriously just sit down and watch Dave play, which is not that ridiculous when I think about what we're doing <laughs> right now. So you know what? Uh, <clears throat> who can resist? When I heard it was in the oh, welcome to Twitch. And I mean, I've. 
been watching Daniel play it. I've been surprised at how quickly Daniel's like torn through it. The only big hangups were uh, the CIA rooftop and the lasers. <laughs> but it's like the lasers, that's such a quick level anyways. But yeah, No, the CIA rooftop, I would say, is the hardest level in the game, at least on possible mode. Explosive. I did think at the time there should be a Quake TV. Well, they got that now for some shooter, I think. Some shooter's really big on TV. Oh, wait, Fortnite, I guess. It's Fortnite these days. Never mind, the other one's uh, fell in out, falling out of favor. Nothing's bigger than Fortnite. Hype zone, baby. Nothing ever will. Fortnite, TV night, family night, night trap, the works. Yeah, Space On uh, showed me the clip of him saying that. Pretty funny. What's gonna replace Fortnite though? What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> it, it can't, it can't <laughs> last forever. I'm sorry. It doesn't. That's not how it works. Something is going to replace Fortnite. Guys, talking crazy talk. It's like, I mean, yeah, there's, there's Pokemon, Minecraft. Like, Pokemon's still popular, but not as much. Well, I don't know. Pokemon's you know, always I going I was wondering, are they going to bring down. that movie to the US or since it's not a remake? they're like no i mean i would hope they would don't eventually dare. don't dare do it dude yeah there's league and the dota stuff hearthstone like i mean those games are still popular but can you say they are the game it's fortnite right now but how long can it last will mission impossible <laughs> nintendo 64 <laughs> probably not um Jackbox Party Pack 5? It could happen. I'm trying to think what... What's the up-and-coming hit? I guess it will be Fortnite forever. <laughs> Fortnite, the final big game. Street Fighter 6? Do you think a Street Fighter game will ever be... Or a fighting game will ever be as big as something like uh, Fortnite. I thought Dragon Ball Fighters was going to be the one, but I don't... It's popular, but it's not super popular. Riot fighting game. Well, there's footsies. Space on posted that one. It's like dive kick, but more fun. And there, there's no diving, only footsies. I mean, Smash Brothers has that potential, and it, even though Space on wants to swear up and down that Smash Brothers is not a fighting game, <laughs> but I, I don't know. As big as Smash is, it's never been, like, Fortnite big. And I guess that is a barrier to entry thing, because, yeah, too complicated. Move it, guys. Ooh, Epcot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess they'd have... I, it seems like the simpler they make them, the less people like them. Weird. There's some really simple fighting games that people enjoy, but I would never say they're, like, as popular as a Street Fighter. If they did an accessible Street Fighter, would that be the game? I don't know. I feel like that would just make all the Street Fighter vets hate it. Kind of like what's happening with five, which I guess is what they tried to do. So you know what? There you go. Do I have the night fishing goggles? Uh, 
<laughs> uh, sure I do. Uh oh. Uh, how could have I not? <laughs> Accessible Street Fighter Co. Yeah, we're gonna name it Time Killers. Best fighting game ever. Did it freeze? I don't know what happened. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was scary. Thank you, everybody, for hitting your monitor at the same time <laughs> to ensure the game would still work. <laughs> you got got to hit it till it works. Better try the silent approach. Looks like an anchor bolt. What if they did Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter? I don't think that would do it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it could. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, that counts. Am I okay? Oh. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> That's why you don't want to get onto the back of the truck. I feel like it's too divided. You can't just say, here's our crossover fighting game. It's it's hard to get the Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter fans to play nice. I better try the silent approach. There must be fatalities. Well, but you can't have them in a Street Fighter game, so. You can't? Uh. Why not? <laughs> has Street Fighter ever had anything even close to fatalities, I don't think it. Charlie sort of. <laughs> he like comes up and boom, that should be a fatality. A lot of green. Doing a super when they only have like one punch worth of health, I guess that's as close as it gets. Yeah, I, I don't really think Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter would uh, mix very well, but I'm not saying I wouldn't play their game if they <laughs> put it out. I'm a sucker for anything with Street Fighter in the title. I want to knock Giles head off. Knock his head clean off. Like Street Fighter the movie, the game was their one chance to put in fatalities and they blew it. Yeah, I mean, like Dave said, oh, geez. Ow. it's a little hard to get involved in fighting games. And then if they're too simple, people, I don't know. People just don't want to play them when they're too simple, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's true, Choco. Too many salty peeps. I mean, yeah. Gotta love the FGC. And gotta love the SGC. <laughs> Rest in peace. Remember Mortal Kombat versus a DC universe when the Joker would shoot people? And remember heroic oh, brutalities? Uh, but. Remember when the TMNT uh, beat up on Superman? Yeah. Injustice. <laughs> Whoa! I'm perfectly. Oh, nice moves. Is that the one where Superman goes evil? I think he does in... Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. I think he does it like <laughs> in every game. <laughs> what if Superman were evil? Whoa, that's something that hasn't been explored. In basically every Justice League plot, because otherwise Superman could solve all the problems. What if Superman <laughs> was not a good man? Was the problem? What if Superman is an issue? Chew on that. Hey, dude. 
and I'm just there. Yeah, uh, pretty, pretty cool looking. I'm hoping Flesher Superman shows up in some Cuphead uh, DLC. <laughs> Popeye or Superman? I'll take either one. Or Popeye and Son. Mm. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rub the Ducky? Good to see you. This is actually Mission Impossible on the N64. But it's got, you know, shades of Metal Gear. It looks a little bit like Metal Gear. For sure. He did it. He blew it up. He blew it up. Gosh darn it. Try this face maker, Ethan. <laughs> I really like it. Thanks. Find explosive and plastic. I think we're going to do Burning Rangers on Tuesday for sure now. Because, well, wait, when does X Collection come out tomorrow? I think it comes out next week. But next what does week. come out tomorrow is the uh, Sonic Mania. Oh, plus? Yeah. Um, I could get that. But I don't know. I kind of want to play Burning Rangers. <laughs> I kind of would rather play Burning Rangers. Oh. Okay. Sorry, it's Sonic Mania Plus. I'm sure everyone and their dog will be playing Sonic Mania. Yeah, you know. Ricky's got it covered. Ricky's got it covered. Ricky will play. The Ricky will play Roger. Sonic Mania Plus. Copy. Stay close. I'm on an adventure. <laughs> Addy will be playing it, so there you go. Getting an eight sale. I I kind of wish I would have waited for that Sonic Mania Plus release on Switch. Like I enjoyed playing it on PS4, and we got that big, ugly box on the floor. I think I don't know if you can see it. You've seen it before. Whoa! Almost broke the camera. You can see it. <laughs> yeah, it's there. But I think I would have rather had the uh, Switch one, and I may get it at some point instead of buying the DLC on uh, PS4. Did you ever put batteries in your Sonic? I don't think I did, which is a darn shame. It's funny because we have these Jack specific Sonic figures we got from Big Lots, and they're humongous and ugly and I should go get one but they have a speaker like holes for a speaker in the foot and what looks like a battery compartment wait the DLC is free I thought you had to pay for it it's free did I say burning rangers I meant sonic I, mania plus I, I thought it was yeah you had to pay like five dollars like it's cheaper but it's not free if you already have the I remember it got confused and people thought, oh yeah, it's free maybe. at the very beginning. And, and, then... and maybe there's like free components to it. Like Oh, so so there's another layer. Like, yeah, I don't think you'll get to play as much. There's a free update and then five dollars. Okay. I see. What does the update give you? Well now I'm curious. Way to go. Oh, nice. No shed, but <laughs> no, fingers like crossed. Gives you the option to spend $5. It's an update that adds a button that says Sonic Mania plus $5. Good deal. But yeah, I should go get that Sonic figure because it's weird. It looks like you can put batteries in it, but you can't. It's like they were gonna make it have sound, and then then they did not. Shed will ship. Mission impossible. At least the Jenga's on the way. It's not very interesting, but the figure's hideous, so I want to go get it. And I will. Oh wait! Oh, I gotta show you the greatest thing Space On ever gave me. Space On won this in a very heated Waku Waku 7 tournament at a local arcade. It is a GameStop exclusive Ryu, and uh, you, I don't know how you say his name, uh, and he said to me, you can have it. You can have it. This is one of the few Funkos I have. Thank you, Space Son. 
only a good friend like Space on would give you a sweet Funko like this. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's what I remember, Alan, and then it's like, oh, mm, cost, oh, card can. Yeah, I'm sure it just got confused where it's like, there is a free update, but in this new jack. content, DLT. And it's not like you have to buy a whole new version of it. They got the upgrade option. Get briefcase from Bunker. Sounds good. Haha, <laughs> that's true. I have footage of you receiving that Mega Man from Dragmire also. It was a great moment. I was a little jealous. But... <laughs> and get some Mega Man Funko cereal now. Daniel hung some Guru Guru keychains on it. I <laughs> I don't know where the Sonic is and I'm too lazy to go find it, but this is one of the figures and it's hard to see his face. I think the Tails is actually less ugly than the, uh, whatchamacallit, Sonic. Sonic is the name of the blue guy in the game. Hey, Sonic. I'm going to take these off so you can see August. his face. That's too far away. But I'll show, well, we put Velcro on his feet for some reason, so I guess I covered up the speaker part. Never mind. But like, if you, I don't even think you can open up that battery compartment. And you can't see the speaker holes because... Why did I put Velcro on this? Was I hanging him from the ceiling? Uh, I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> like, you, I don't even think you can open it up. It's like, there's a screw in it, but... Oh wait, this one? Alright. Almost got it. Very slow. Alright, there's the speaker. So it's like, it was gonna make sound, I guess, and then... Weird. Spooky toys. Ooh. <laughs> you guys having fun looking at <laughs> toys today? I'm having a blast. <laughs> oh, Sega would do that. Ever since Toys R Us closed forever, I've just been like, let's appreciate the toys we have. Because these are the last toys ever. Oh, nice. I think I actually have that exact same tail Dragmire. I have some of the other figures from that line, like the the enemies, like the octopus guy and stuff. And the monkey. Is it he called Coco? I don't remember, but those figures are really well done. That's the blind box stuff, right? Yeah. The Dragmire still has the greatest uh, blind box. I don't let me go. I don't know if he's out there or not. Coconut scratching grounder. Do they? Do they have a grounder figure? Scratch. Can't bear that mask anymore. Best to take it off right here. Maybe oh, I imagine having song. the monkey. Or I just don't know where it's at. But... No, I thought I did get the I th monkey. I think you're right. You do have the monkey. I don't know where he's at, but look. Whoa, it's the same tails as Dragmire. And then the the octopus guy. It's funny because I'm bringing the toys in here and then leaving them on the desk. Uh, clean up my mess later. Yeah, that... I should have got more of those. <laughs> oh, but Minecraft Sonic, I don't know. <laughs> Rugrats returns. <laughs> Good old Rugrats. Clean up on aisle multi-tap. That whole lineup, like, ooh, and the Robotnik looks really good. Toys R Us had, a, like, a bunch of cool, exclusive Sonic toys, too. And I got a few of those, but... Yeah. Sonic stuff, am I right? <laughs> All right. 35 dollars i'm scared i would get dupes whoa He's holding the mission impossible whoa is that the exact same tail it is he looks very similar <laughs> i 
Hello, brother. <laughs> uh, but see, if I held up a Mission Impossible cartridge, that'd be silly because it's in the N64. Yes. Right now. I wouldn't want to do that. Anywho. It would impede game progress. Moving on. All right. The Tails approves. Hopefully we can do this in one go. This is the last level. And you know what their idea for the last level should be? Destroy the gas factory. Oh, baby! <laughs> this is definitely Shades of Gold Knight. <laughs> but they only, I don't think they had two cannons. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna abort. Because it starts me off with low health and I feel like I'd get all the way there. <laughs> Big guns. <laughs> Quits game to refill life. I don't know if it's actually faster to tap the button. It looks like it's faster. Watch it, Ethan. Mine ahead. Oh. Point. <laughs> Let's look at these. Why not? Except... They're not that fun. Holding up toys to the camera is pretty lame. Alright. <laughs> hey! What's up, gamer bro? Hey, gamer bro. Good to see you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, back to <laughs> holding up toys to the camera. Wait, I have some toys to hold up. Do you know who that is? It's Guru Guru Man. And this is old Dr. Wily. And this is uh, a, a fairy that does nothing. <laughs> and we have other ones, but I'm too lazy to go get them. So. Well, you gotta... You gotta adjust the focus because they're so small, Jess. That's uh, how the camera works, I think. We're on a boat. Have you ever played this one, uh, Gamer Bro? It's a classic. There's no Tom Cruise, but I mean, you can uh, play as his brown haired lookalike. <laughs> Beheaded Elf? Is that something you have space on? The Alf Bank? Oh my god. If I had that instant Tapcon prize. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go to the antique store this weekend and buy some stupid Alf thing for Tapcon. <laughs> That's a great idea. Huh. I'll make a note of that. <laughs> it's it's a decent game, gamer bro. It's not a lot of people like to unfairly compare it to Gold Knight, but it's kind of its own thing and it's pretty pretty fun for what it is it didn't review very well but uh what do they know not much <laughs> okay i mean look you get two guns this level may look a little strange <laughs> it's up gone los angeles 2019 can we make it las vegas good old las vegas they got the Pinball Hall of Fame, at least. Woo! It's Tom Cruise with the gun. Hello, Mr. Cruise. Huh. Do not shoot me, please. Tapcon North has Fun Spot. Do you notice how I base every potential Tapcon on the arcades? I think yeah, it's pretty important, right? You gotta be able to play games, so... I may be a little arcade obsessed. They're gonna open up a new arcade near us, Alan, and they have Cabal. They have Cabal. <laughs> now that looks like Dave. That's just Dave at work. <laughs> or Dave playing Fortnite. He's got his headset on. Oh, I, I went in there. Uh, gamer bro the yeah it, it's, <laughs> they had a lot of cool stuff like they had old kiosks and they had like this weird bootleg arcade setup that had a lot of games on it but yeah they just had a lot of cool like retro games that's funny that you've been to the same place uh gamer bro marvin's marvelous mechanical museum oh cool if you guys don't watch Game Center CX, which I can't imagine 
uh, that many people haven't seen it by now, you should watch those because he goes on arcade tours and those are always fun to watch. Hey, what's up, uh, Ori, Ori, Orius, Oreus? We did it! Well, do you remember the end? <laughs> we won! <laughs> Did I screw up your name? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> we beat the game too quick. Welcome to the ending. <laughs> it's done. But don't worry, uh, Oreus. There's still more... There's a little bonus sequence in this game, so there's still more to it. After the credits, I think. Bonus levels. And I don't know space on what arcade they would go to in Vegas, but they're in Circus Circus in Las Vegas. They actually have a really pretty legit arcade. Like you can definitely tell it's kind of old and not super well maintained, but they have some good games in there like F-Zero AX and uh, Capcom versus SNK2. They had Alpha 3, I think. Yeah, they, they had some good games. So yeah, Circus Circus, pretty neat. It's weird, I've heard it both ways, Oreus. Like, apparently there's some aspects of the PlayStation 1 version that... Who are you? ...are better. Oh! My name is David Lee. What do you do? I'm a 3D artist. Asian laws of France are too strict. You get to meet the team! <laughs> what do you do? I'm a programmer, master of the camera. Again. They closed down Insert Coin, I think, Gamer Bro. We tried to go there last Not time anymore. we yeah. went to Vegas, <laughs> which sucks because it looked great and we never got to go. What do you do? Assistant producer. This one looks like Dave. <laughs> That's Dave's face right there. <laughs> what, do you what do you do? The producer. big boss. <laughs> Looks like the I don't need a haircut. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a programmer. Those aren't complicated pieces of the code that frees the program, especially infinite loops. Yeah, you sound like a programmer. Infinite loops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what do you do? I'm a 3D artist. <laughs> Could you set up the internet on my computer, please? <laughs> They must have not liked Wow. Him. They're roasting him. <laughs> the actual Tapcon footage. Oh, game works. While I was working on luckily, I have three other different versions to rebuild it from. Good idea. I don't I think we've been to that game works. I don't know if it was that great, but I mean it did have some games. The game works in Seattle was not so great either, but they had Tatsunoku versus Capcom, at least. Uh, I don't know. Master of the logic. I need a haircut. Like, I, I can't imagine Gameworks is holding up all that well, but... It's funny, because for as bad... Or as not great as Gameworks was the last time I went, they still had better games than uh, Dave and Buster. Buster and Dave. I'm the lead programmer. The tallest, the fastest, the strongest, in a word, the best. We used to have a GameWorks I don't agree. here in Texas, but that got closed down. And then there's the one in Seattle. I don't know if they're still open, but yeah, I think there's a few. There were probably a lot more, but they're gone. And like Sega used to sponsor them or something, so they got a lot of cool stuff back in the day. What do you do? Are all GameWorks closed? Oh, what's up, Mr. Fantastic? It's it's the embassy. You need some fancy piano music, right? <laughs> so the Vegas one's the only one left. Okay. No any good WWW links? Uh www.ethan.com. <laughs> I'm a programmer. Have you seen Sandrine? I have the post-it pad she's looking for. Ooh, a quest. I believe you have my stapler. 
and there's GameWorks in uh, Illinois, apparently. How did GameWorks die but Dave and Buster's thrive? Mm, Redemption Games. Eddie. Bappy Bird. Fruit Ninja. Mobile Games. Killed GameWorks. I don't know. What do you do? Like, didn't Sega used to own GameWorks? Is It's probably more a result of Sega not doing well. So... There's something with, like, Sega and GameWorks, I thought. We can blame Sega for all our problems, as it turns out. <laughs> oh, the last blockbuster, that's in uh, Oregon, Aureus. Yeah, there used to be a uh, couple in Alaska, but they're closing them down. Rest in peace. There's a computer game place you can rent time out. Ooh, a land center. Have a land party. Pretty cool, Choco. Man, yeah, it's fun finding like... Like, even when I would go to the laundromat, I would be like, ooh, an arcade. And obsess over that. I'm trying to find all the machines in the area. If only Fantasy Star Online 2 would come out in North America, then Sega would redeem themselves. There was a site, I don't know if they maintain it very well, like AURcade.com, and it's like a community wiki almost for arcade locations. It's kind of neat. I don't know if it's updated too well these days. In Texas, we're getting like an obscene amount of new arcades, which is kind of nice. I need to like visit them before they all go away. Shame on me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Free him. Free the memory. Free them. And then paintball, just like old night. Strange paintball firework. Confetti. Whilst everyone. Fuck. Danny is too nice. I attack these guys like a jerk. So, well, so, yeah, the thing about that is, yeah, you can attack these guys, and what happens is they fight back, and they, like, kill you in one hit. They're and, strong. They're the development team. And, and while I would very much like to do that to see that, I think that if you do that, it kicks you back to the menu. <laughs> and so... You could try that. Can you load it up right away, or do you have to beat that? Well, see, yeah, that's the thing. I don't think you can just choose it, so... Well, but we're Unless gonna get an opportunity to do Alan's cheat at yeah. least. Yeah, it's like maybe if you have a cheat to go there. And then... Alan told us about a cool combination of cheats that we can do. <laughs> These guys are full. Of them. So hopefully we're gonna get to show that in a bit. Oh, is it time already? Yeah, I mean. That's Daniel the, wins. That, Daniel that, beat Mission Impossible. That, as far as I know, that's it. <laughs> Give Daniel a round of applause. <laughs> Turns out it was Mission Possible <laughs> after all. When you choose possible mode, you can beat it. All right, so let's see these cheats. Alan says if you turn on it was what big head mode and kid mode, something funny happens on the first level. So to put these on, you go to the mission select screen. I think. And then do, uh, let's see, C down, R, C up, L, C left. Or it's right, I can highlight it. Oh, oh. sorry. Oh. Yeah, that's better. All right, that's good. So now do this one. Press C down, C up, R, L, Z. Yeah, All right, now just pick this level. It should work. <laughs> oh, and this cutscene may be improved. It looks like the cheats worked. <laughs> There, that's better. It's like a sequel. Mission Impossible SD. Well, I don't know, that's a big bench for you. I hope he can get up on his own. <laughs> yeah, he opted a different. International weapons dealer, Basil Brook. Oh, that's okay. 
at an abandoned World War II submarine base in Lundquist. For <laughs> information, Joe is planning to upset peace in the Gulf by selling 12 virtual fighter kids to an enemy country. Your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to sabotage the submarine transporting the missiles. Are these tinier Central missiles now, too? Should you or any of your I guess they're still pretty big. Or is the, the thumb different? Will disavow any knowledge. <laughs> This message will self-destruct. He's eating the bench. Good luck, Jim. Evil children. I think I've seen that movie before. By the way, we got about like 30 minutes left after this gag. Wow, look how they're too short <laughs> for the profile pictures. How should we end tonight's N64 stream? Well, that was it. It happened so quick. It you gotta do that again. It doesn't even do that. What do you do? I stream video games in my spare time. <laughs> wow, wow. You're in the game. So he just falls out of the boat. You can't even see it happen. That's sad. That's sad. He's too short. <laughs> Try it again. Maybe you can beat it. <laughs> yeah. Skip it real quick. Oh. Frame perfect hop out of the boat. We got about 30 minutes. We can do we can do, we can squeeze in a couple N64 games, but I don't know. Who wants to play Wheel of Fortune for Jiggies? <gasps> Good idea. Let's do Wheel of Fortune oh, for yeah. Jiggies. No cheating. Oh, Tell oh, oh, you know what? Bad idea. <laughs> no cheating. It's a, no, yeah. <laughs> You got honor system, right? <laughs> honor system. Honor's gonna get tossed in the bin. Honor system? There is a family. Actually, I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't think there is. There's a Jeopardy, which is Jeopardy boring. I don't know about Smash Bros. I mean, that game. Uh, although Space Sun really likes it. I mean, you could. Hey, good night, Alan. Thanks for I, watching Mission Impossible. Thanks for the tips. Let's just do this. <laughs> oh, this will be nice. Whoever shouts it out first, I will give you 50 jiggies for each correct phrase. How, how do we do this? Do we send them all computer or? Um, just... can you? Maybe. No, just stay. Cause then if someone gets the phrase, you can solve it and move on. So you'll be player jazz. Jazz. <laughs> jazz. <laughs> that, that's not fun, Jazz. Let's get started with our first puzzle. <laughs> Player one, it's your he's, turn. He's getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. R. R. <laughs> I'll spin. I'll spin. Hey, Freem doesn't need yeah. cheats to win. Mm. Oh, be patient. Oh, yes. lose a turn. Sorry, you lost your turn. Nice FMV. Well, bad kiss. Daniel beat it. <laughs> bad kiss. He, yeah, he beat the game, bad I gave up This is the, the bonus game. No, Jeopardy's fun to watch. Jeopardy the video game, not fun. I agree, Dragmire, and to a point. Although I do enjoy watching Wheel of Fortune as well. But yeah. What? Check the VOD! Check the VOD! Alright. Will someone vouch for Daniel? Sorry, you lost your Daniel turn. beat the game. <laughs> he it. beat it. Doubt it. He beat the game. Daniel did it! L. A Jeopardy handheld game, but it was poorly handled. Ooh, did it have Trebek? I, I think the, someone could guess the answer. Gamer Bro, whenever Vanna White was in a Wheel of Fortune game, they made sure to advertise the heck out of it. B. Oh man, with the giant wheel when you get the bonus or whatever. Good times. The VOD was deleted. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of jumping the gun that I only really know this. Oh wait, what do you say, B? See? Oh, there we go. Now you know it. I'd like to buy a vowel. E. Yeah, come on. I know what it is. Did someone guess it? Did I miss it? Dragmire, that is not spelled correctly. 
Is you're gonna need to spell it correctly so that I can spell it correctly. <laughs> you need, we we're gonna need the right. No, uh, he he I didn't mean, spell it right. I mean, ah, uh, all right. I don't. Well, who do I give the jiggies to? Someone's got to put them both together. Addy spelt it right. Like the puzzle. <laughs> Auto correct. Oh frick! The computer's not even gonna give me a chance. It's fine. I'll let it watch this spell. All right. Well, Jazz put them together. So <laughs> let's give Jazz the jiggies. <laughs> Addy and Dragmire are gonna. <laughs> Kill me. It's your turn. A team word. <laughs> wow, Jazz, you're good. <laughs> I'm really a good man, but I'm a very bad wizard. Thirty seconds to look up the question in a booklet and read the clue in that short time frame. Whoa! Wow, the computers were guessing before I even found them. <laughs> Yikes! Well, that's not very <laughs> fun. Sounds like a hoot, to see me. Well, almost got it. In. Oh, game over. We have some really weird handheld games, but they would probably be Ow. very boring to stream. But I don't know. It might be fun to mess around with those some night. I'd like to buy a valve. E. We could play catchphrase, Dragmire's favorite. I think Freem has it. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, sorry. Thanks, Freem. Uh, it's I was too busy staring at it like, like <laughs> uh, I know what it is. Oh really? Wait, do I I don't get any points if I solve it without money, right? Um Yeah, you need to get some letters first. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't have to capitalize it. You just gotta spell it right. <laughs> I'm not. Ten. And like, honestly, Dragmire, if you just like transpose two letters, I'm not gonna be that picky. I just, I think your spelling of I Lieutenant like was a little questionable. That's all. I, I, I Dana would have given you the genius. <laughs> all right, you know what? No, okay. no, I, no. I, I was saying I wouldn't have been able to spell it right. <laughs> I'm giving Addy and Dragmire half Ponto? credit. All right. Just like my teacher when I copied oh off that girl in uh, class when she gave us half credit for cheating. Our third round is I split your grade. Alright. Oh, You're welcome. It's a, phrase. it's a phrase game. Wait, and so I gave Freem his bonus, I guess. How are you gonna make this right? <laughs> How are you gonna make this right? I'd like to buy a valve. <gasps> I like that gamble. This is Target's problem now. I'll gamble the total prize Dan wins in Jiggies at the end of Wheel of Fortune. Whatever Dan wins, I'll divide it by some factor and give it to everybody. How about that? And then you can gamble that. Frame? <laughs> Did you already get it? <laughs> wow! Frame nailed it. That, uh, he nailed it. He. To see which you need to get some letters, though. I got a free spin. That was super quick. I'll spin. I'll spin. Oh no! But I, 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 I should. Got, I should just give Freem. I, free I don't know what I'm waiting for. Free Wait, Freem might be wrong. There's no way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the phrase game, but with money and bankrupts. I'll spin. Yeah. I'd like to buy a valve. You. You. Oh, rest in peace. RNG the game. Is that what this B. is? B. I'm trying to think of some of the lame handheld games we had. We had. What was that one where you had to like Annie up? And it played wacky music. Oh, wow. I don't remember what it was called. Yeah. It had betting chips and, uh, yeah, poor description. Sorry. <laughs> um, catchphrase is pretty fun. Or in this case, the Pokemon. Am I the first person to make that joke tonight or what? <laughs> or what? All right. Thank you, Frame. Got some cash. Looking good for that jiggy bonus Here's at the end. Next puzzle. Player one, it's it, your turn. I, I don't think I could take away the bonus jiggies in that case frame. That would be kind of mean. H. H. 
You could you could try to fool me here. Ah. Mugen will believe anything. All spin. I had a Sonic Underground handheld game. That should interest uh, Addy oh. and Decemic. It had, and I think that did have something you could spin. It was very, uh, it was very cool looking. I should find that. Let's see. Sonic Underground. Handheld. Did she make a vow? I it had some, like, thing you could crank and it would start spinning. It was weird. I didn't understand it. Oh, man, that was sweet. Here's a picture. We basically played with that mechanism that made the thing spin and ignored the game. Look how small the screen is. Why would you even play it? <laughs> Did somebody get the phrase? Did I miss it? All right. I don't. Just checking. Art. Could be art. I think, yeah, you're right. Art. Hi, Art Carney. Ooh, I bet Choco's got it. What? I mean, it's... Dale doesn't believe you. Yeah. I just don't know what that is. <laughs> Me neither. It's not right. It's close. It's got to be Art Carney something. It, I mean, you got the second part right. For sure. I don't know what the first word is. Ooh, that's a classic right there, Frame. Yeah, what? Yeah. I don't under F find art. That's classic Sonic. And remember the Mega Man 2 handheld? I'd like to buy a Val. Not nearly as fun. What the heck? Fine art carny. I bet that's gotta be it. I'm gonna give you the Jiggies. Dragmire. I almost gave him to Addy. <laughs> me, 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 me first. <laughs> Alright, Dragmire. Okay, I said <laughs> Dragmire. I'd like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> me, 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 me! Is that gonna find her in first place? Sometimes you you know the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Next puzzle. It's starting to get Mario fate levels of me for me 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 me. It's a place. I'm glad he did that. I almost missed it. To be honest, I was like, oh yeah, I could drop Addy. Here's your bonus, and then people would have thrown tomatoes and usually the squeaky wheel throws themselves under the bus. You lost your turn. Oh, good. Honest Addy. Here's some more sloppy joes. Ooh! Oh, wait, that's the computer! Oh, good. They screwed up. I guess. Sucks to be you. Alright, wait. S. F. Maybe F, because free. Maybe that's not it, though. I'm going S. S! I know someone's gonna get a phrase and I'm just gonna ignore them and they're gonna be like, why didn't you give it to me? It's not free parking. No, no. <laughs> free spaced? I'm gonna go for F. F. I regret it. I regret I it. Buy a hey. Tree, no tree. Um. L. Oh. School, some kind of school. Oh, what kind of school? Ah, uh, of I'd course. Like um, <laughs> uh, school, school, school. Prec school. Pre-K? It could be pre-K school. It could be. Tree school. <laughs> Prep school. Ooh, I bet Rage is right. I bet Rage has it. Prep school. I'll spin. I... I'm gonna give him the jiggies, I think. But what if it's wrong? Oh, Rage has to be right. 50 jiggies. Nailed it. I think what if it's prop down. school for prop comics? <laughs> we need, don't know. I need more money. We don't know. Good job, Rage. Hey. School for preps. Remember when that was a thing? Is that still a thing? Five hundred or five thousand? All right, it's all vowels. I'd like to solve. Got it. Yeah. 
I don't think I have any idea what you're talking about, Addy. And I'm not lying this time. Alright. Thing. Funky Fresh. Is that from said thing? Wins Family Feud. Oh, Harry Potter. I see. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. That's Dave's uh, territory. Actually, Daniel read a... You read a book. I don't know if you read all of them. Did you read all of them? I... Yeah. He read them all. And he watched, like, the Bullshit. first movie, I guess. I haven't seen any. Oh, he hasn't seen any of the movies. In. I see. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Don't ask me anything. So, because I... That's a lot. But I don't know. I don't know. B. Thing. <laughs> Something Peninsula? No. No, it's too far away. Super Castle Mania. We're out of time. I'll give the wheel Ooh. one last spin. We were actually talking about that earlier, Ricky. I think Mania Plus is more of a Ricky Will stream than a multi tap stream. Because Sonic's kind of your thing. We'll be playing uh, Burning Rangers, most likely. Oh, this is Dave's favorite word. Mm, don't know. I don't know the first part, though. Oh, good, good penmanship. penmanship. Chicken scratch. Gee. <laughs> I almost did bonus <laughs> Addy good penmanship <laughs> instead of 50. There you go. Good. Where's your manager? Because you got good penmanship. I have terrible penmanship. You've seen it on multi-tap. When I do whiteboard sketches. Wait, did I say so? Did I really? Let's play the bonus round. Did I? Oh, penmanship. It's the pop filter. It kills the T, the P. What are we going to do? I didn't curse. One consonant and one vowel. What are, uh, what are we doing? One consonant and one vowel! Chat, 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 chat. Uh. I hope that. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Then. G? Oh, wait, it's three consonants and a vowel, isn't it? No, oh, sorry. Maybe not. I don't. G. O. G. It's good to be an O. G. Uh, D. No, I don't. P? Would P be good? P. P. B. G P O. G G P O. We're we got one. I'm screwed. It's over. If someone gets this, you get a hundred. Cause Retro Ninja. <laughs> Thank you for the host. We were playing Mission Impossible 64 Stitch, but we beat it, and now we're trying to beat Wheel of Fortune, but we're not going to beat it. Cause Angelina. Babylon, 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 B A. Oh, it was Babylon. Wait, Choco got it though, right? Choco got it, I think. All right, so I'm gonna do bonus all sixty based on nails total, and then I'm gonna give Choco a hundred jiggies. <laughs> we we could do another. I'm sorry to uh, the Stitch that we're not playing Mission Impossible. 64 anymore. Yeah. We beat it. Yeah. Maybe I should update the title to Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> How about that? Oh, well, it, it was a fine game. Good game. I liked Mission Impossible. We had a good time. Let's get started with our first puzzle. I only changed the Mission Impossible part Player of one, the title. It's your turn. All right, here we go. Fictional character. Mission Impossible. S. It, <laughs> Ethan Hunt. Doesn't fit. Ethan Hunter. M. <laughs> and Sumic E. Hedgehog. Broly! Oh. Broly! Broly! Donut Steel! <laughs> oh! Man. R. Got an R. Sons Undertale. <laughs> Roll that out, Kelly. Arr. <laughs> Donut <laughs> steel. 
Little rascal. I know it. I know it. Or what? <laughs> Betty Rumble. Oh, Yabba Dabba. Oops. <laughs> Yabba Dabba. Oops. Oh, he copied my first bad one. <laughs> ah! Ah! I need to shut up. I'm sorry. I won't guess any out loud like anymore. Good job, Dragmire. You did it. Betty Rubble. Wow, how'd you get it? <laughs> You're so good. Can't have fun, you shouldn't leave that for us. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, a big crate. Here we go. Oh, 550. Ooh, this one's a long one. Good luck. Oh, shucks. I'll spin. I'll spin. Is Broly in this game or what? Who's excited for the Broly movie? Show a hands. Well, right here. Dale didn't raise his hand. <laughs> He's too busy spinning the wheel. Or he hates Broly. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Mana Hero? Go wrong with T. A fellow Broly fan. That's what <laughs> I like to see. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Need a special spin this time. Yes, post the Broly shirts, please. Let us all remember how great Broly is. Cell has his own movie, placing top eight in all the tournaments. Man, but Maticus, I think <laughs> legit they need to do a movie with Cell in it. And Dale, do you want to wear that to the Broly premiere? I don't think I can handle it. The pressure of wearing that. <laughs> Dave, Dave wants it. I don't know. W. W. Some. Ooh. Mm, good guess, Choco, but not right. Oh, what's up, Coffee? Uh, what promo codes are you talking about? In the Target ones. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those were invalid a while ago. You gotta be quick with these zany deals. Yeah, I mean, it was a good thing while it lasted. I didn't get it, but... Oh, I think I know what it is, but I, did. I don't know how to spell it right. I'd like to solve. Or so we think. Um, Wait, you know what it is? Yeah, maybe I... You can't back out. Oh, wait, right, 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 right. I can just... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 Choco got it. Choco oh. got it. I, I didn't see that. All right, yeah, good oh, job, whoops. Choco. Sorry. <laughs> Choco got it, sorry. He got it before I did. <laughs> sorry, Choco. Wait, hold up. I need that last part. I need to make sure I didn't... Okay. You don't know the Joneses? We're always trying to get... That's what it's like <laughs> when you're trying to get the Target discount. <laughs> you're keeping up with the Joneses. If you went way earlier at Target... There's a... There's a possibility, Coffee, but I didn't get the ready for pickup notification so i don't think they had it ready either way but i mean there's a chance maybe i did go like an hour after they opened so my mistake <laughs> i heard a lot of people on the west coast were able to get them because they basically ordered them right before the store closed and picked up their stuff so you're telling me there's a chance Ooh. CGI regrets. $200. H. H. Ooh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Ow. That sucks. <laughs> it's funny when it doesn't do happen to me. Turn. I think I don't know what it is. I am. Oh. R. 
<laughs> is, I, is that I what you're uh, is that applicable to you addy uh, uh, that is that get, it get the sleepy time bear is that what it is i, I think that's what it is what jazz got it yeah Wait. jazz nailed it i i figured oh, it jazz. was i figured it was she wore a something but i kind of wait jazz you got that awfully quick <laughs> we can never trust jazz again <laughs> Oh, well, good night, Addy. We'll see you uh, tomorrow, maybe, for some Burning Rangers. I wasn't suspicious till he said it was a movie. Thanks for watching. I'm, I'm suspicious. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give Jazz his bonus. <laughs> there's, I... there's blood on those jiggies, Jazz. <laughs> you know it. You know there's blood on those jiggies. Burning Rangers. It's a one-player game, right? Probably. Oh, um, shucks, guess you'll be playing it. <laughs> yeah, no treehouse <laughs> trolls tonight. It was a movie. Want me to list the year of release? Starring actor? Re-release date? How about your favorite part, Jazz? And then he freezes up. W. I like when it was over. The credits were cool. The Wikipedia article on it's pretty nice. Oh my god. I can't believe Why? Jazz is back to his old tricks. I liked when she wore the yellow ribbon. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I did coffee. It was actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it was like a fantastic movie. It wasn't incredible, but it was very well made. So. I would say it's incredible. All right, it was fine. It's incredible that they could pull off another movie. It's your turn. It was a good sequel. It was a good sequel. <laughs> R. Good idea. R. My, my other problem, <laughs> Coffee, is I didn't watch... It should have been called The Decent. I didn't watch the first Incredibles before we went and saw it, so I couldn't really compare. I probably should have done that. I don't remember... Like, I remember the first Incredibles being a good movie, but I don't know if it was, like, Ow. amazing either, so... You know, decent too. I, I don't know if you've seen that at all yet, but something that I see keep being brought up yeah. online is how they changed the Tony character from the first movie to the second movie. Have you seen that comparison? No. If someone can post a picture of Tony from The Incredibles 1 and Tony from The And see, I didn't even miss out or catch that because it's like I didn't remember. I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> D. Like you said, it had been too long. I'm gonna have to watch them both back to back coffee. They lost yeah, a year of production yeah. time. Ooh. Yeah, I mean it's it's well made, Jess. Uh Tony from Incredibles 1 and Tony from Incredibles 2. They changed how he looked. I mean they probably changed how everyone looked, but he got a uh They changed some and... It's incredible what they <laughs> changed. I got some of this. I think you got a good letter from me. No, all vowels. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, something. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what would go good or what would fit. I can't think of anything that would. G. How about G? I would have gone with M if I were you. M. A B. I'm trying to think. Mugen? No. Or multitap. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell? I think I know what it is. Hey. Oh, that's more picture than I wanted, but there you go, perfect. <laughs> that is wow. Awesome. <laughs> but I mean, they—they're all their faces were kind of like that. Yeah. Dang. It's funny because it's like I didn't realize it looked so different, but I mean, it makes fact, go sense. up even more, maybe. <laughs> How did we watch that movie? <laughs> Rage! Rage got it. Oh wait, ooh. That's what I thought. That's what I thought it was, guys. No, you know what it is. What? It, is it really? There you go, Choco's got it. What? I'd like to solve. I... I thought it was what Rage and Gamer Bro thought. 
All right. Well, Choco, get the bonus. Good job, Choco. Yo, Choco. <laughs> Completely mind blown. Here's our next oh. puzzle. Well, I don't know. Did you see the graphics in Incredibles 1? <laughs> Did you see the comparison? It's blowing my mind that I thought this movie looked good. <laughs> they have letters on the stairs in the second. Wait, Coffee, what's your favorite Toy Story? Mine is Toy Story 1. How brave of me. Well, they did a good job on that first Toy Story. You can see Buzz and Woody in the background, maybe. Maybe not. You know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, Toy Story 1. We can't top that. Why? <laughs> a 13 years difference between the two? What? What? Is, what? Ooh. What could this be? P. T. Got it. No. It's not by your own guy. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought Dale. Hey, your own way. There Choco, you go, Choco got it. I thought you were saying Frame was right. W. I think Frame. Oh, no, the computer's going to steal it. Frame's just joking around. I'd like to solve the puzzle. I was thinking it's like, what, toy your own. <laughs> Pay your own way. Peanuts. Here's our next puzzle. Player three, it's your turn. You know what? I'll spin. The probably better coffee? Ow. Probably a lot better. <laughs> like What's up, Andy? Yeah. Oh, he's getting too bright eye. I like the original Andy. <laughs> the original. The original Andy was a toy himself. We're out of time. <gasps> give the wheel one last spin. That third Andy. Oh my God! What the heck? What is wrong with Andy? <laughs> I mean, not the first one's kind of scary, I guess too. But you know, second one may be the least scary, but he looks a like Slappy. Thing. Oh no! He looks like Slappy from Goosebumps in Toy Story Two. Like, you know, Night of the Living Dummy? Yeah. The puppet? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I, Slappy? Do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, sort of. Goosebumps. Oh, a novel idea. No. Hey! No, that's a novel idea. D. Good job, Frame. You guys know what Goosebumps is, right? Goosebumps? <laughs> oh, Scud! <laughs> See, they didn't have Scud in any of the other movies. so they. What? Could... Scud doesn't look like I, I alive. I would have liked to see how they improved him. Because they, Scud looks straight out of Food Fight. They, they would have done the same thing they did with Tony. They would have just made a new character. Because there's no fixing that. But did, did you read <laughs> Night of the Living D <laughs> Dummy? <laughs> R.L. Stein! See? Here Goosebumps here, here as well! And e. <gasps> wow. Goosebumps! Who's scared of the now monsters? The and one vowel. Oh wait, thing. Thing, help! Treehouse trolls. It. Mm -hmm. tr train games. <laughs> I don't know. What letter should we It could play? be trucks. Trucks. Truck, 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 truck. Tribute? Tribute? Tribute won't fit. How, we're going with trucks. Oh, they modded the. Oh, wait. It, oh, wait. That's Mario Odyssey. I thought that was the Toy Story 3 Might toy as well box. finish this off. I thought that was the Toy Story 3 toy box. Oh, my God. It's Mario Odyssey. Oh man. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Daniel, no. No. And you wasted it. You said truck, so I put C in. No. <laughs> and we don't even know what it is. <laughs> no. What the heck? I think, I think you're right. Uh, my favorite place to host pictures. If only we would have tried websites. the D. <laughs> I'm giving 50. All right. <laughs> well. <laughs> Was it really Choco? Player three, it's your turn. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Daniel did it. <laughs> Daniel did it. It's not my fault. You can't blame me. Where can I put my website? Angel Fire. All right. Well, that was fun. You know, multi tap. <laughs> Daniel spelling bad words on the stream. Like I said, tomorrow night, Burning Rangers, most likely. Let's stop the phrase game. Thank you for watching Daniel uh, demolishing that game. Yeah. Mission Impossible. That's what we played to start with. I already forgot. Okay. So let me figure out who our prize game winner is for tonight. Let me load up the magic wheel. Yeah. Burning Rangers. I hear it's pretty good. The Rangers. All right. Let's go with this prize board. Let's see. Same coffee. That may be the only reason we're playing yeah, it. We may. First place is Choco. Good job, Choco. Second place is Jazz. Third is Freem. Fourth is a spoon. Psychotic spoon. And fifth is Rage Mario. Rage Mario. First night placed on the wheel. Good job, Rage. Uh, good job, everybody. Let's go ahead and spin and see who your winner is or isn't. Who's your winner? I just don't know. <laughs> Jazz! Jazz is your winner! Congrats, Jazz! <laughs> you won! Zoinks! You won! <laughs> Yay, Jazz! Whoa, Dave! Whoa! All right, Jazz. What number? <laughs> what number do you want, Jazz? Let's go, mighty number nine. Can someone help Jazz find his glasses? Oh, a thousand j best thing. Wow, this was a minefield of a board, and you managed to avoid all of them, Jazz. Good job. One thousand jiggies for the Jazz man. Well played. All right, let me give Jazz uh, his bonus. All right, so like I said, Burning Rangers on the Sega Saturn cool. tomorrow night. Hope you'll tune in for that. Should be good. I don't know if we're going to beat it or not. It may be a long game. I agree, Choco. We'll get as far as we can in Burning Rangers. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. Then who knows? What the game's like at all. Who knows? All right. So I guess... I mean, 50 for all is a good price. Good point, Choco. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. We'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Hey, the show's over.